What's up, guys? We are here. I'm really late. I just ran upstairs. Was out and about today. Got to meet some Indian food before I got home. <clears throat> uh, but what's up, guys? I'm going to be taking some viewer matches later today. Maybe not right away. I have to record it. So it's going to be a little bit frustrating because I have to record in high performance. Champion Orange is first, and Devin said, what's up? How y'all doing, you beautiful people? Hex Maniac is here, Eelix, Richard, that Garboard GX IRL complete, completed today. Hey, that's my boy. Oh, I have to work on Gardevoir today as well, because there's a new list I'm working on that I really want to try. Hmm. So we're going to do some stuff today. We're just hanging out today. I think I'm going to start with Metagross, though. Play a little bit of Metagross, try that out. A little bit, can you battle me? I'm taking battles of, what's up, a bit odd, it's my bro. We're gonna play a little bit of Metagross, we're gonna move to Gardevoir, and then I actually have to get some post-rotation matches using this deck. Actually, you know what, ignore that, ignore that, that I told you guys. I wanted to play against people that don't know what I'm playing. <laughs> um, but I didn't make a new build of Gardevoir that I wanna try after uh, yesterday's, whew, after, yes, after yesterday's uh, annoyance, I wanted to try this out. But let me go ahead and tweet out the stream, tell people I'm streaming. But I will be taking post-rotation battles today for people that can uh, that can do that and give me like a decent battle. Because I do want them to be good enough to upload. Because I do have to record this, because I haven't finished uploading my video today. Italian Erdo, deadlocked. When, I, when can you anytime... Oh, yeah, if you ever want to battle me, go on um, Discord. I have a play me, I have a play me thing now. It's a play me chat. Just tag me in it and tell me, hey, can you play? And then I might play. If I have time. I'm game for one dope. I tried running in with one DNC and two, two EV Sylveon GX and four one calls. I'm gonna try EV Sylveon. Uh, I don't like DNC, but I do like the idea of EV Sylveon. Um, I'm not too sure though. I'm still like on the fence about it. Okay. We are live. Working out kinks in some decks today. I wish I could be like Dennis, right? And just stream for six hours of Pokemon. But I can't, I can't even do that. I can barely handle streaming for three hours. I get so tired. I need like, I need like a good night rest. I need a cup of coffee. I need to have food. <laughs> then I could probably potentially stream for that long. Let's go. I cream top of Coco Juice. Yeah, it's a good matchup. Tapu Koko is just a monster, that's all there is to it. I don't know if you saw the video today, but Tapu Koko is, is an absolute beast. If I don't start dan with Dancy, I get rid of it. Yeah, but that's the thing, I don't want to have that empty card in my deck. I'm not, I don't, I think I might still be playing Vulpix in this build, but I'm not too sure. Maybe I took it out, I don't remember. I guess we'll find out, huh? Oh, I got that new fancy Lucario coin. Dude, I tried, I looked everywhere today for those new promos. I couldn't find them in our area. So that was unfortunate. Decent. This is actually amazing. Uh, if only I, if I was going second, this would be the best hand. Actually, this is still the best hand. I have two Ralts. I have three Ralts and Sylveon, and uh, and for the following turn, this is a spectacular opening hand. As long as Bridget isn't prized. If Bridget's prized, it's gonna be sad. <clears throat> but how's the stream looking, guys? Everything good? Everything looks good. Everything sound good. This is all good. so worth it. Nah, I'm not a big fan of it. I, after testing it, it's worth it when you do it, but it's too hard to pull off. Alright, so hopefully Sylveon's in the deck, because that was going to be awkward if it's not. Let's find out. Yep, we got Sylveon in there. And we got all of our Ralts as well. Good thing I gave you one, huh? But yeah, dude. Shout out to you. How have I been? I've been alright, Italian Turtle. How you been, Big Dog? One, two, three. Attach for the turn. Evolve. Uh, we do still play three choice bands. Do I want to play this down though? I have such a good hand for next turn as well. Mm, so many good, so many things could go well. Uh, I'm gonna do this. No, I'm not gonna do it. If he ends me, it's not a big deal, I guess. I want to ultra ball though, but whatever. What's up, Nebby? You join Hilo server, but not mine. All right, Nebby, send me an invite to yours. I'll, I'll join yours. But I am going to disable notifications, so I'm never going to be notified about what's going on in there. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I'm pretty Gucci. Thanks for streaming tonight. Yeah, I almost didn't stream, but I, you know, I like streaming for you guys. But yo, drop a like by the way if you haven't already. I'm like super duper late. I usually start streaming an hour ago, but I got home late. You even about me in this stream? I've never gotten to be in a video before. Uh, there's no guarantee it'll be in a video because once again, I, I, I'm probably gonna get a bunch of matches and potentially and like cut them up. I only really need one more match online on my video, anyways. But I'll battle you probably. Because how it goes is that usually like I'll tell everybody that has post rotation to say to to challenge me and only post rotation people to challenge me. And if you do, um, if you do get a chance, if you do, if you do challenge me, uh, we'll I'll play. I'll record it. If it's a good enough game, we'll keep playing. You want some codes? Let me hear you say yeah, dude. I want a code. Give me some. Give me some of the burning shadows, bro. I'm too broke and don't have any right now. What's up, propane accessories? Let's see, big dog. Devin, yeah. <laughs> I, I play Rangaroo now instead of uh, Octillery. This hand is not great, but we'll make do. N is pretty good to top deck here. I don't need to play Octillery yet. It seems kind of risky. We'll just end because I don't want to. I don't want to have. I don't want to lose the cards that are in my hand. Uh, no. Hmm. That's unfortunate. We didn't get too much going for us this turn. All right. We'll just go ahead and magical ribbon. Let's see. Guardy. Rare candy. Rare candy. Do we have a draw supporter? We don't. We have a Lele, but I don't really want to put down Lele. We just get a. Well, hold on. All I need is okay. If I'm gonna do it this way, I need a sycamore, right? Hold on. No, I don't need Gardevoir. Hold on. How's this gonna work? We put Gardevoir back. We get a rare candy. We get a sycamore. Cause I'm probably gonna play the sycamore. Am I gonna play the sycamore? I don't know. This is tough. Do I just go double Guardian and use Lele? I think I'm just gonna go double Guardian and use Lele. Rare candy, Guardy. Right? That works. I think that works. We'll just do that. Got a Curlia. I was thinking about getting a Curlia, but whatever. I'll just use Lele to draw. I'm not too worried about it. What's up, Timmy? How y'all doing, guys? Nebby not jealous, but how do you have 57 subs with no vids? <laughs> it's because his name is Nebby. It's literally it. <laughs> People subscribe to Nebby. Oh, he's an enemy. That's fine, though. The hand wasn't rocking enough for me to care. Three fast five me. Have you been in the second Harry Potter movie? Bear with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have. This is getting annoying. He also plays Glaceon, which is not a big deal because he already has the prize zone mapped out for me for the most part. And I have Lele to attack with, which is why Glaceon's a bad card now. Eleven likes and you'll give a code? Bro, that's too easy. You can't just baby these people like this. I don't know. This man is scary. This man is very scary. I want to start damaging him. But I want to also use this as well. <sighs> oh my, oh, no, I should attach for the turn before I forget. I'll do that there, because I have another one in my hand, so I'll be okay. We'll magic ribbon again. It's my hand. That's what we got rocking with today. We got Guardy, so we need rare candy. Curlia, N. I think I'm okay with that. So I don't want to lose these cards. Yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> Rare candy. And an N. We only have one N left. What's up, Golden Nuggets? Hey, Aura, cheers, cheer me up to see see that you were streaming. That's awesome, Infendi. I'm, I'm glad that you're getting cheered up. I'm hoping you didn't have that bad of a day. You know what part of the second Harry Potter movie when Ron's mom is like, "Hey, what? Ha where have you been?" Shouldn't name my channel squishy. What about it, Team Bad Deck? By the way, what's up, bro? And uh, Victor's here as well. Play a little Nine Tails next. Hashtag Kaka. You saw the video. Yo, I love Pokemon, dude. I love Pokemon too. Actually, I kind of hate Pokemon, but for the most part, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing some bad battles in a bit, in a minute, guys. Um, I'm just kind of testing some stuff out, and then we'll go from there. When on Aura's Discord, DM me an expanded Darkrai list. I really need one. 
I can show you one if you want a screenshot. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it in like six months though. So it's a little bit. It's a pretty behind. Actually, I think I might have slightly updated it, but I haven't. I don't think I've touched it since Sun and Moon. All right, so we get to keep our hand. Hopefully, he doesn't play too many cards, so and won't punish me as much. We're playing against Solgaleo, which is annoying because we haven't been able to set up very quickly. He's in a Soul Burst, which is unfortunate because now that this thing over here is a threat. Although we can knock it out if we get the right cards. Because I'm not gonna be. Able, I need to top deck a Fairy Energy. If I top deck a Fairy Energy, then we can potentially get a knockout on this threatening Pokemon right here. <clears throat> Because it has 160 HP, that is 6 energies, or 5 energies on a choice band, and he already has 2, 3. So we only needed 1 fiery energy on a Pokemon and a choice band to get a knockout. So top deck? Nope, unfortunate. We'll do this. We'll do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm trying to think. Two, three, four, five. It's 100 damage, 130 with this. Not enough. Um, although, Field Blower, being playing Field Blower doesn't matter right now. Man, if I only had a Fairy Energy, bro, it's so unfortunate. Um, this could be annoying, so I'll do this. Actually, I want, I want it on this. Anything I want to do? You can only hit 150 with Magirna, right? Yeah, so that's not a big deal. We'll just play in here. Sylveon GX. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Actually, it doesn't matter too much. But I should have done that for real. On the realsies, I should have actually done that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighty, one, sixty. That's not. Oh, it is enough. I think I get a knockdown Sokoleo at the very least, right? Um, I'm doing the math right, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, choice band is 8. 81, 62, 40, it should be just enough to knock him out. Yep. Uh, it is a 2 retreat cost. Where is my fairy garden? <laughs> Rip. Um, this is awkward. I guess I can plea GX here. Ah, uh, but if I plea, I'm stuck. I'm like super stuck if I plea. I'm just going to start attaching here then. I can't be stuck like this. We just, well, I'm just going to spread it out. I'm going to spread the love a little bit. And I'll move the Magical Ribbon. We got a decent setup, but we're playing against the counter deck, so what can you do, really? Um, maybe a Guzma? No, we'll just get Sycamore, I think. What's in our hand? Yeah, we'll just get Sycamore. Yeah, this will have to do. We'll get one knockout. I think the one one slabs on my Turbo Canyon deck. It has been amazing. That sounds pretty good. No one in stream ever subs to me, so I don't know what to do. I mean, upload. <laughs> so just Nebby lol. That sounds pretty right. Why is my computer so quiet? Can you not hear me? Cheesecake yogurt plus chocolate milk balls plus gummy bears plus cheesecake bites. Heaven, go try it at, at yogurt land. Okay. If I can battle you in the stream, it'd be amazing, but if you can't, I understand. Alright, deadlocked. Um, maybe I really like Pokemon. I'll watch this for as long as I want. Mm, Ultra Road is a knockout. No, no, these are going to do Magirna. Okay, so <clears throat> you'll get four prizes, unfortunately. Which sucks. Uh, how am I going to work around here? I'm getting four prizes. I'm not seeing it. One, two, three. I don't have a draw support either. Ooh, this could be problematic. Um, one, two, three, four, five. It's 100. It's 120. 150. I need one more energy. I can't even like promise another energy though. That's an issue. I have a one retreat cost or a two retreat cost. I don't remember. There's a two retreat cost. Mm, I don't want to lose my fairies. I guess no matter what, I need an energy here, right? So we'll just work with this for now. I guess I had choice man as well. Guzma, 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 Guzma. I'm gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixty-one. Hmm, it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh, I had Fairy Garden in the hand as well. 
I don't know what to do. I'm in such a bad place. Why is Sylveon failing me? because Lele is my attacker. He can ultra road, so I just have to damage something that I want to knock out later. I want to knock this out later. Ay, ay, ay. I lose. I can't bring this back. He, he can get two more knockouts with such ease. No, I'm, I'm done playing this game. I can't win this game. It's I'm actually checkmated right now. I can't win this game. That was so annoying. Too many metal decks. People are so afraid of Gardevoir right now. That was annoying as hell. I don't know. I don't know. That was frustrating though. Please stop bullying. <laughs> Alright, well. That's unfortunate. Dude, you want to play Sableye? Sableye is a broken Pokemon, bro. Sableye Garb is a thing. Is that limitation Sableye if you want to work with that somehow? I don't know how good that'll be. Maybe Noivir and Sableye? We keep leading with this, but we get stuck. We're going to lose Rare Candy, Field Blower, Curlia, Guzma. That's such a lot of, that's a lot of stuff to lose. Hmm. Awkward first hand. I want to take out things, but losing Field Blower seems bad, because Garbodor is a thing. Obviously, you need the rest of these cards. We're playing... Oh my god. I'm sick of this. Uh, let me play in something that isn't metal, please. Pretty please. This is getting out of hand. By the way, guys, drop a like if you haven't already. It's always really appreciated. I literally just lost. I somehow managed to put my TCGO in a really awkward place. Hold on, how do I do this? Is it this? How do I, uh, is it? How do I, how do I, ho hold on, guys, there it is. No, hold on, how did I, how did I do that? How did I do it? I gotta figure out how I did that. Crap, come back, everything come back. Oh my god, this is absurd. Guys, give me a couple seconds. I actually can't even reach my TCGO right now. Can I, can I please? Is there a way that I can fix this? Do I have to close the window and reopen it? How do I do this? Alright, can I... Oh my god. How do I get rid of my bookmark? Um, how do I do this? Hold on, I might have to reset TCGO, guys. Ah, what a pain in the ass. <clears throat> How do I do this? Do I do this? I don't want to do that. Oh my god. Alright, well I'm resetting TCGO. This is a, this is just stupid. Can I please open it? Thank you. God. Oh, come on. Everything's going wrong. <laughs> give, me, give me a moment of peace, please. Ah, oh, can you? Okay, Premiere needs to close. Thank you. And now I need to open up the chat. Uh, today's not a day for this. It's been frustrating these past couple days. I don't want to deal with this right now. I'll be back. All right, guys, catch you later. Um, all right, there we go. Oh, end me, please. Somebody just take my life. I'm 
46 year old pedo memo. All right, calm down, propane. Ah, what a pain. All right, you know what? Today's not a good day for Guard of War either. I'll play Guard of War some other time. We'll just play Metagross right now. I'm not going to be stuck in the Guard of War loop of being constantly upset that everybody's playing counter decks. I just want to try something. Do I have a post rotation Metagross? I don't even know if I do. I know I do. I know I do. I don't know where it is. Post Metagross, there it is. Let's see if we can do... Oh, look, we're playing against metal. Now we're the bad guys. We got a good lead. We got a very good opening... Oh, man, it would have been amazing if we were going first. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter too much because we can use Volpix as an attacker. Excuse me. What's all this arguments in the chat right now? Y'all okay? Everything Gucci with you guys? Let's see. Let's see how good this dude is. Maybe his deck's much better than mine. Oh, I'm making a competitive Pokemon TCG channel. Make a competitive Pokemon TCG channel? I mean, why would I want to make another channel? I already put, uploaded my competitive stuff here. All my videos are my competitive stuff. I don't upload bad videos. So my streams are bad though. We let the streams be bad. Okay, let's see if we can somehow make it as good as that when it went well. It went for my opponent. Our hands are pretty okay. Let's see if we can get a Lele down with Bridget. That'd be ideal. Look at these bridges in the deck. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta deal with my mom. Let me finish this turn and then I'll head over there. Play Charizard? I'm not playing Charizard. I have to build it first. I have my plans for the streams, guys. We're gonna do a little bit of a. Uh, a little bit of laddering, then I'm gonna battle viewers with some decks that I need to work on. There we go. Put all you guys down. Little we'll beacon. Then I go with some tank. Just talking with you viewers as always. Nice. Just don't. Don't piss them off and make them go away, Nebby, or else you're gonna have to not be banned, not be modded anymore. Kinda need to be nice to the viewers. <laughs> well, we're about to swoop in on the chat and sit his kids down. Much respect for Daddy Aura. You know it. Going to play some Breath of the Wild. That's the, that's the stuff. Is Nine Tails good after post rotation? I like it personally. Because I'm not gonna build them. Uh, that's fine if we can get two Beldums down, which it doesn't look like we can. That was weird. Oh, he plays Seeker. This is not post-rotation. I was like, what? how did he get a Sycamore? Then I realized. I'm just so used to playing post-rotation with mine. Play Field Blower, because Choice Bands are evil. We, uh, Rare Candy. Metagross. Choice band our Lele. I want to evolve this, I guess. I guess I should, huh? I really hope I don't run into any garbage that puts it back and put gets me rare candy metagross right now. Good. Bad, but okay. We'll make do. We'll make do. We will make do. Flitch, copycat. Not probably not great attacks. Hmm. 
I want to put this in the discard pile for Necrozma later. The Necrozma doesn't really get knockouts easily though, so maybe I'm not going to be attacking the Necrozma this game, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. The Manny attach here. I don't have any more Beldums to get. I don't have anything to get right now, actually, so I'm just going to go ahead and Beacon. Metagross Lele. Necrozma doesn't help us this matchup, so I'm not too worried about it. Or a nation? Not with the army. You know what? Mods versus other fights right now. If you're being sarcastic, try throwing in some italics. Good idea. What's up, Keldeo, bro? How you doing, man? <clears throat> I need some manual attachments to make this work. Alright, we got a metal attachment, which is all really, really needed. Hey, sign through, but can't hear nothing because I'm watching Bar Baruto. Alright. Krasma, what's up, Yoku? Kyrie for life. Dude, Nebby, don't piss off people, alright, bro? Do me that favor. Do I have two metal energies down there? I don't. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Sycamore this turn, I think. We'll do this. I don't need Guzma right now. Field Blower, we'll get rid of his choice ban on the, on the field. I need to manually attach this turn, but I need to put metal energies in the discard pile to make everything work. Uh, Max Potion is going to be helpful, because he's probably not going to get knockouts very easily. Guzma's going to be nice as well. I don't think we need Rick Candy anymore. I'm, I'm going to get Lele Friend. I'm not going to get sick more like I wanted to. As long as we draw a single energy, we'll be okay. I mean, we don't need any more, but that would be ideal, because then we can attach the Metagross. It's okay if it's a psychic energy as well. What's up, Alex? Sorry for earlier. Do this. There we go. Alright, our hand's decent for next turn as well. So we should be okay. Attach here. Geotech. And we can start getting our knockouts. Now that we have two turns of fully set up Metagross, we should be okay. Nebby shit's okay. I like Heliolux. We have 40 people watching guys. Go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already. It's always greatly appreciated. Nebby, you know what you're doing, bro. If you're making somebody uncomfortable, stop making them uncomfortable. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what's going on. <laughs> By the way, everyone, go ahead and give the video a dislike. It really helps support the channel. Alright, Team Bad Deck. Uh, someone needs to get removed. Ah, too easy. <laughs> this match is an abuse to Garvey. Dude, this, this stream has been an abuse to Guardy. First Sogaleo, now Meta then Metagross, and now we're playing Metagross abusing Gardevoir. What's up, Ty? Have you done? No, I haven't done any fab battles yet, bro. No worries. Just I just start streaming. Stick around, and whenever um, as time goes by, we'll start doing some viewer matches. No worries. We have Guzma for next turn as well. Just perfect. Now we don't have to lose energies. Do I have a? Oh, there's only one psychic down there. All right, so we can't. We can't do what I wanted to do. Alright, we can knock this out. We can knock this out. Alright, we're good. We're in a good position. Watch watch you go against Scizor EX, bro. That'd be the day. Actually, does Scizor doesn't even Oko. Oh, oh, yes, it does. Never mind. With, uh, actually, no, does it Oko? I don't remember how much hits were. Excuse me, this out. Geotech. And Giga Hammer. That's what I want to do, right? Actually, you know what I want to do first? I already played a sport if it's right, never mind. Yeah, we'll Giga Hammer. Do anyone here play TCG? Most people do. Alright, cool. Give me these dubs. I deserve them. 
All I have to do is play a deck that's not scary to play right now. <laughs> it's really simple. I right, will play a couple more games because I kind of want to see if there's any changes I want to make to this Metagross deck because I'm fairly happy with this Metagross deck. Metagross versus Volcanium matchup thoughts? I mean, every deck has an auto loss and that's one of them. Orbomb, do you think Guzma is better than Lysander? I think, oh, I don't know. I would say yes most of the time. The choice band it does, normally I think it does 10 damage short. What's up, Noah? How you doing, bro? Who play, who here doesn't play DCG? Let Ali J know. He wants to make new friends. <laughs> Volcanion isn't heavy played, though. Let's make Metagross decks less played. No. Yeah, Volcanion is heavily played, which means Metagross decks less played. That's what you mean, right? I think that's what you mean. This is good to put in the discard pile now. We would be losing Guzmas. I do want to retreat options. I'm just gonna, uh, if I play and I'm giving him more cards, I think I'm okay with doing this. Why is Richard not a mod? That's actually a good question. I should make Richard a mod. Oh, uh, we, oh, we know, oh, never mind. we're good, we're good. Um, why did I do this again? I don't remember why I did this. We'll drop Sycamore. I guess I'll get down another Beldon. We always have a Beldon prize. I was thinking about getting Vulpix. Hey! Genguada. Genguads? Is that how you say your name, bro? Genguads? I don't remember. We're 500 mods already, pretty much. That Sycamore has the right choice. That Sycamore was the right choice? Yeah. Welcome to the mod hood and Richard. Yeah, Richard's in like every stream. He supports the piece of he supports the stream, supports the dream, so we gotta support him back. Give him that moderation moderation rule. I always just forget about it, because I feel like everybody's a mod at this point. <laughs> We're playing against more of this. Next to Turtle? Yeah, Turtle will probably be next on the list. He's gonna play Sycamore. So we knock Lele's out, so we can probably abuse that. Do you think you can adapt Nine Tails GX with Burning Shadows one? I have a post-rotation one. I don't have a pre-rotation one. Chat is 90% mods. That's how it should be, man. It's all my friends. My friends become mods. Become a friend, bro. Just keep hanging out. We have 24 likes and one dislike. Guys, go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already. I do I train TCGO? It's not working for me. It can't be locked, bro. You probably it's probably locked for you and that's why it's happening. Rare candy? Ah, oh, I was hoping for the rare candy top deck. Dude, Ky uh Korea, please relax, man. I'm sorry. Sorry that Nebby made you un unhappy, but you're gonna have to chill. You know what I'm gonna do? More energies in the discard pile, because that's what we want. <clears throat> And we will core beam. So Nine Tails or Fallout Seven on a good trade? I would say so. Maybe Nine Tails is worth a little bit more. It's up to you though. At that point, that Guardy player was a dislike. Lol. More Metagross, or more Matangs. One Metagross that I want to be Lele instead. This is scary now, because they hit for big numbers. He'll get a knockout here. We can Rescue Stretcher, put the Beldum back. Uh, but actually, I'm going to Ultra Ball, then I'm going to Rescue Stretcher, put the Pokemon back, and then go from there. Raikou's ability should have been 10 less per energy. That's would be insanely broken. I had people that played that deck with that mentality, and I was like, bro, what are you thinking? <laughs> that would be insane if that were to be real. Mimic you, ooh. Oh, I'm getting a Metagross out now, right? Oh, I can do this. I can knock out. I 
Okay, we can actually mimic you knockout here, which is what I'm gonna try to do. Watch this play, guys. We'll get one manual attachment. There is a psychic energy down there. I have to play Guzma this turn if I want to make this work. Oh no. This is cute. It's, I just want to do it because it's adorable. I don't want to do it because it's good. Because it's kind of not good, <laughs> to be fair. I just really want to do it right now. Now though, I lost two Matangs, but I do want Lele back for next turn, so I'm actually going to hold on to this. Who do I want to knock out? I can knock out Shaman or Lele for two prizes, right? How much am I going to be doing? Is it uh, 30? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100, 50, 160. Let's knock out Shaman. Hopefully this works. I'm hoping that if it's no longer active, it'll still work. Are we losing internet? Please don't tell me we're losing internet. Can we can we just move, please? Thank you. Geotech. Put a psychic energy up there. And we should be able to copycat, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's dope. The Mimikyu tech coming through for two free prizes. And we got Necrozma too, which is going to be actually huge. Because we already have a bunch of energies. So we can actually start attacking with Necrozma as soon as we set up the spell them. Four two four guardian one blade. If you want to, if once I get a fourth guard of war, I'm gonna try it out. Right now, I only have three on my three in my account, so we'll see. Whenever I get more packs, we'll see. Oh, he's gonna hex me! No, my Mimikyu. <laughs> I liked having that Mimikyu. Um, all right, Metagross, take some heat. You gotta take some heat, big dog. I'm so glad we made that play though. That was a lot of fun to pull off. Uh, we'll play this down. I'll manually attach to the weakened algorithm this upcoming turn. Rescue stretcher. Um, we don't need Mimic you anymore. I do want Lele back though. I'd rather have these. Sycamore. Rare candy? Oh, that would have been amazing. Oh, too good to be true, right? Let's go ahead. Drop. Skyline and energy. Put down another Beldum. We're gonna algorithm here. We have to be careful with our bench size. We have one Metagross, right? We just need another Metagross and a rare candy. That's number one. Then we're going to need maybe a Guzma. We have a choice band in hand. Some manual attachment energy, so we'll go ahead and get one metal. I like Guzma. I'm gonna grab a Guzma just in case. Max potion for sure. That's all five, right? Cool. I wanna have a backup Guzma just in case. Oh, I should probably got a draw supporter. But there's a Lele in the deck, we have an Ultra Ball, we'll be okay. I will only play one Glade, don't play it. Order the binder finally. How's it how's it looking for you, uh, Amanda? I hope you like it. Hopefully my suggestion ended up working out for you. He's in a Lele for N, but that's fine, because we had a bad hand anyways. Hopefully it's Lele's prize though, yeah? Oh he has a work break. He can hit for 150. He can't hit mine to Cosmo for anything. I guess he could Black Rage GX me. We got 45 people watching and only 26 likes. Go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already. Oh, this one's going to play N? Oh, I hate these Seekers, bro. Stop getting these Seekers, man. Ban the Seekers already. Ban them for worlds. <laughs> That'd be wild. Text is terrible, but no. I like. I don't like Roblox. I've never... Yeah, I've never been a fan of Roblox myself either. Well, we are stuck, but we can make do. As long as he doesn't hex me, we should be okay, because we will get a knockout. Alexis, uh, thank you for the compliment. Thoughts on Guardi having Max Potion in the deck? Not a big fan. I'd rather play Ace Rolla, because you can reattach all those energies afterwards. That's a lot of damage. How do you do that much damage? Not a big fan of that much damage. We got Sycamore, so I'm going to go ahead and abuse that. We have two Metagrosses down, so if I need to, I can uh, use my ability. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. Field Blower, get rid of you and you, because this is going to be knocked out potentially this turn. Oh, you know what? Mm, I don't know if that was the best play I could have made. 
Because there's the max potion that I want to use. I can't attach for the turn anymore though. So I have to choose between letting him knock me out or just max potioning and tanking for a turn. Uh, that was a bad play. Now that I think about it. That was a really bad play now that I think about it. Oh man, alright, we'll get rid of another one of these, I guess. That was a super bad play. That was a really bad play. Alright, now I have to try to get another one next turn, which is fine. He can't knock me out at the very least. We'll just Geotech. I shouldn't have attached there, man. If I just didn't attach that turn, we would have had attack at this turn. That was me not, not playing a lot of Metagross right there. That was my inexperience showing. Metagross is a bad deck. Every metal deck is a bad deck. Metagross is a great deck, bro. Metagross has won multiple tournaments. Has been performing very well and now has new tools to play with. I know, man. Like it's hard for me to ever say a deck's bad. That's been that's been giving results. You know what I mean? Guzma lets me knock this out if I get a choice band. Oh, he uses yeah. He uses foul play. That's why he did so much damage. I was very curious as to why he did so much damage. Should I put Salazar GX in my Volcano EX deck? I mean, people are trying it, they say they like it, but I don't think it's good enough. Is he lightsaber to me this turn? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, there goes Matang. Mm, problematic. I don't get a third Metagross anymore. Not like I was gonna get one anyways, but it would be nice to have down. So have another Beldum potentially on the deck though. I want to knock out these breaks. I'm gonna probably knock this one out because that one's a threat because it's actually doing a lot of damage. I don't have a reason to do anything else to this turn anyways. So I'm gonna be able. I want to attach the Necrozma. Do I want to attach the Necrozma? Not really, actually. Let me just knock this thing out here. I want more energies on the field. I want him to not get a dark energy. Geotech. Man, if I got a third psychic and four third Metagross, I would have been able to start attacking with this. We'll just get a hammer for now. Yo, I got a full ace roll on TCGO. Hey, that's awesome, bro. Yeah, Lily is Lily's not bad per se, it's just not the best card you could play. I have to go see you later, X-Maniac. Nebby sucks, you know this is, you know, Nebby sucks, you know this is good, but my trick is getting good pulls when you go to the store, get the packs from the back because they have the best pulls all the way it works for me. Alright. Tips and tricks with, uh, Kyra. Did you get a dark energy? I'm hoping you whiffed. Please whiff. What's he doing? What's he thinking about? He's in Kakui. He's still trying to get that dark energy. He won't get a knockout. I need to get my fur candy, to be honest. Weighing and burning shadows doesn't work. You have to get like the middle rolls, the the middle roll weighing stuff, and it's like meh. You know what I mean? <sighs> he hits for 120. I can get a knockout with this, right? Because I hit for a lot of damage. I think I can get a knock out of this. We'll, we'll try it out. Um, I'm gonna retreat. Hope I can get a max potion. I have to manually attach, right? Geotech. Get those psychic energies on there. We get a knockout because we hit for 100 after resistance. Geotech again. I think the retreat cost is pretty low, and we have our setup Metagross in the back as well. Black Ray could be useful later, but for now we're going to end. I'm giving him an extra card and I'm losing some cards, but they're all useless. But we just keep drawing them, because why not? Right, I need a good prize off this. Prismatic Burst. All right, math is right. 100 damage. Yeah, 110. Oh yeah, because I do the plus 10 damage. That's right. Guzma. Metal Energy. That's not great. 
It's okay because we can retreat and attack and stuff like that, but it's like meh. Do you think they're ever going to reprint Versus Seeker? Probably not in this format. Maybe next year. This is pretty good with these cards. You can't Black Ray. Yeah, oh yeah, I also can't Black Ray because my algorithm, you're right. So I don't get a knockout with this, but he doesn't knock me out either. He could black. Oh, don't. Oh, he can he black ray me? He can black ray me. Oh, that was a bad play. I didn't think he could black ray me. But he needs a dark. Crap. That's so bad. That's super bad for me. <laughs> oh man, I'm so sick of these counter decks, bro. Yeah, the Serena GX box is uh is out for some people, I guess. Oh, this is frustrating. Please don't black ray. Actually, black ray doesn't knock me out. Never mind. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. He's on a foul play. Let's see if he black rays. We're okay if he blacks rays for the most part. So we can still get a knockout next turn, and then we just we're one prize away. Yeah, because I can manually attach. Hold on, let me think about this. Ability, retreat. Manually attach here, and ability. Right? That's how that should work. Geotech. He can potentially get a knockout next turn, which is worrisome. Geotech. That was an awkward play. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't I should have tried I shouldn't have tried to flex like that. That was all me just flexing out. Yeah, I got a Charizard. I like trash. <laughs> Fair. Some stores put them out early, don't listen to release dates. Yeah, Target has been doing that a lot lately. Of course, we get our Metagrosses all late game, because that's when you want them, right? What decks do I like? I like Glisspod. That's about it, really. Uh, like, Heavy Burning Shadows decks? Oh, I need Choice Band. <laughs> oh, I have Choice Band. No, we're good. That's No, it's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to top deck something to let me draw and get a metal energy. Oh no, <laughs> I lost. I lost. That was bad, I shouldn't have done that. That was all me being a jerk. Ah, oh, I hate this. <laughs> this button might be, this one hits a number, you just need those Laurentuses. You'll be fine. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, what can you do? What do I not like about this deck though? There's uh, there's has to be something I don't like, right? You're always there's always room for change. Hey Yoku, have you tried using Google? It usually helps. <laughs> let's try. Let's look at Metagross. There's always room for change. What do I not like? I really like this because that's fun. Maybe I should take out fun stuff. I was looking for this the whole game. I still play my four max potions, but we whiff near the end there. The psychic energy count, I'm kind of a huge fan of. It's been working out very well for me. Although, I kind of want to increase the numbers a little bit. I like Guzma. I don't play Cerulea because I play max potion. Four choice bands has been very consistent for me. Maybe I take out Skyla. I never find myself using Skyla. So I can add, I can take out Skyla for another psychic energy. Full Art Macho is pretty dope. Oh, cool. Glad... Glad Tobe. I don't know how to say your name. I'm assuming it's Glad Tobe. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Take out the Mimikyu, but the Mimikyu is fun! Dude, Mimikyu's good. Don't sleep on Mimikyu. Escape Rope Rip? Nah, I, I wanted to get the Escape Rope. Escape Rope would've helped me so much, that game. Uh, I have four ends, four Sycamores. I don't like Skyla. But Skyla's, like, good during a lot of situations. Glad to be his SMH aura. What's going on?
Should do a Lycanroc deck. I've done a couple Lycanroc decks. I'm going back and forth right now. What's up, Joey? I'm trying to decide what I don't like in this deck. Hey, Craig, thanks for subscribing, guys. Thanks for joining the Aura Army. That's their name. Oh, glad to... Oh, I see it. Glad to be his. It's weird because the glad and the his are capital, but not Toby. <laughs> What's up, Oddish? What is up, bro? Hmm. All right. Let me get a game. If you have post-rotation and you want to battle me, do me a quick favor and go on to um, Discord and tell me and put in... Just say me in the play me chat, please. Because we're going to do post-rotation. This is kind of important. So this one's important. Then after that, we'll go back to the usual way of battling viewers. Take out Mimikyu, Skyla, Escape Rope, and two Metal Energies. And add what in its place? You want to reduce the count of Metal Energies in post-rotation? You think that's a good idea? <laughs> I need Mimikyu because I need a non-GX attacker that can actually do a lot of damage. For instance, we could it's just another way to beat a lot of really good decks in the format. Because you're doing the same attack, same damage, and it's only one all you need is one or two abilities. How do you go? I use Streamlabs. Necrozma dude is a better attacker. Necromancer and Necrozma? Yeah, Necrozma's fine, but it's, it's a GX attacker. We get walled by nine tails with this deck otherwise. Take out Skyline once choice band for more energy or a different supporter. Can't go to Discord? Why can't you go to Discord? Just download it. And the link's right there. You, everybody should have a Discord. Ooh, Joey. Let's actually battle Joey, because I actually owe you I actually owe you a couple games. Uh Joey Star. If you're playing post rotation, go ahead and challenge me. This will be for a video too, so I'm actually get my video stuff open. Hmm, give me one second, guys. Oh, hello, stream. Give me one second, guys. Let me check something real quick. Alright, okay. EX Pokemon opening. Yes, battles and also what's up guys? What's up, po what's up, EX? Test test. Test test test. Alright, dope. Um Alright Joey. Challenge me whenever you're ready. What's your username by the way? Let me actually message him. Iran, I'll probably play you next. We'll see. Two Vulpix is best for regular Metagross, but you can drop for Necrozma. I can actually play another Metagross, but maybe over... Uh, oh, okay. His username is just Joey. Uh, I can probably drop uh, a couple of things. I can probably drop a Skyla for Necrozma. I'm going to try this, though. Hello, people that were watching this on YouTube earlier. We have moved to, tw uh, to live stream video yeah all right that's all i'm gonna say moving on where is ho there it is right, let's see what we can do hopefully we get a good game like we got earlier playing against electric grass psychic i do not know what this is it could be vicavolt is that vicavolt that sounds like vicavolt right let's see what we go let's see what's going on here So many you were in, can see I'm getting in and I'm getting it. I know, I play four, you play four Pokemon Ranger and what? I think he's playing Vicable, which is going to be awkward because we're not going first and he already has a really good hand set up. Awkward. Uh, eh, I'm, not, I'm not feeling this hand, I'm not feeling this hand. I 
I'm not feeling. Yeah, he's playing Coco. Um, how do we beat this? I guess we can beat it. Hmm. I need to have a decent cards to start with. I think I just need to start playing more nest balls in decks nowadays. I think that's what I gotta start doing. I think I have two nest balls IRL secrets, so I could maybe afford to start just taking in two secret nest balls in decks now that Gar now that uh, Garbodor is not nearly as popular. I have to find it. I don't even know where my cards are, to be honest. It's too dark. You never seen any Vicable GX? It's Vicabulu, so it's not GX, but they usually can play a one or two Vicable GXs. Top deck. Nice. Speaking of that, speaking of nest ball, this is actually really nice. Um, get a hoe down. Attach here. Uh. Oh. Bri Pico, thank you for joining the War Army. Th sorry for uh, you two people that got their ears exploded just now. I need to turn that down. Turn on Kiawe. Very clean, very nice. And hopefully our hand, he doesn't like punish us for this, because that would be awkward. There you go. Heavy Ball, no, Heavy Ball wasn't Breakthrough, so it's going to stay in the format. It's 1 a.m. here in Brazil. I just want to say if I, if I that I could don't do in the channel today and really like the content. Oh, thanks, Gabriel. Appreciate the compliment. Thank you for subscribing too. Welcome, everybody. Give everybody give these new subscribers a welcome. Welcome from Brazil. The whole the whole far looks nice, right? I, I need IRL. I don't have any whole cards IRL yet. See, that's awkward because I don't hit it for weakness and I don't knock it out now. <laughs> he has free retreat. He needs a Vicavolt this turn. He'll probably get it because he has a huge hand and it's easy setup for him. Hey yo, here comes a danger up in this club. <laughs> Yeah, this Skyla into Ultra Ball, into Vicable, into shenanigans that I don't want to deal with. But at least he can't Lysander, right? He'll just knock out Volcanion, which isn't a terribly big deal. I guess we'll see. Depends where we top deck. How do you get that cool thing that pops up? Dude, look up Streamlabs. You can learn everything from there. Welcome, even though I just came for the first time. Hey, I mean, tell them welcome, EX Pokemon. Thank you for joining me for the stream today, by the way. Or oh, is there a deck that I could play for Fuller Guzmas in? Um, this deck. <laughs> Nature's Judgment. He has to get rid of all of his energies. Actually, no, he doesn't, because he has fighting very well. Never mind. He got a prize. Oh, no. Oh, I need you to come through, buddy. I need you to come through. Hit for 180. Lele. Do I want to play the Lele? I don't really want to play the Lele yet. We do this. If I can land this, that would be ideal. Ah, oh, it's bad. Um, <laughs> let me think about this. Then I'm gonna play this, of course. We get a knockout this turn. But I wanted to play this next turn. Was, you know what? I just have to rely on what I can get off this. To be honest. So really, ooh, that's kind of good. I guess we'll see. It's good to have this. And this, the tank attack, so we can't get any easy knockouts. We still have to rely on what we're going to top deck, though, which is not great. He's going to get a free hit off, but he won't be able to knock us out because of our belt. Uh, Bandit is not going to get us a knockout either, so we could be okay. It all depends. I'm sorry, or I'm not allowed to go on Discord. It's okay. I'm going to take matches the usual way, but today it was just because of specifically post-rotation. I want to get to the Discord people since I owe I owe a lot of people. A lot of people donate to me all the time. Um, a lot of people show, show me support that way, and that's usually people on Discord. So, Oh, by the way, guys, for those of you that don't know, um, the, the giveaway of the month. Uh, it's not really a giveaway. It's more of a raffle I talk about all the time. I talk about like maybe once or twice every other stream or something like that. And uh, it's for every dollar that you donate through PayPal or through um, or through Super Chat, you get yourself one entry to win to get a chance to win uh, a couple of codes, a couple of cards on PTCGO. This month we're doing a Full Art Tapu Lele, and we're doing a Secret Rare Enhanced Hammer on PTCGO. Uh, at the end of the month, I will announce a winner. Right now, the entries are based on donations, which all the, which are always going towards the channel, towards school, towards Bill, just helping me stay alive, essentially. So, thank you guys all so much for all of that. 
but monthly giveaways and go to real quick. I don't know what he's doing because I'm not actually paying attention. But we have Pat with 10 entries, Nico with 27 entries, Friday with 2 entries, and Ty with 20 entries. So shout outs to all of you guys for the donations. If you guys want a chance, go ahead. There's a donation link in the description. Uh, and then there's Super Chat as well. But I prefer donations over Super Chat because Super Chat's kind of awkward with YouTube. When one Celestial GX is a must card, is too good. 250 for two energies. Holy Chalupa. I could probably play a 1 1 Celeste on this deck, but I don't really know how I feel about it. It might be something worth trying. So for all you YouTube, for all you people looking at this game and want to know what else to play, you could try a 1 1 Celestial. You're going to lose a little bit of consistency because you're adding two cards, but you'll see. We'll see if it works. Don't run Baby Bulk? No, I do because of late game. It's pretty decent late game. Alright, so we play four Guzmas and escape rope. Uh, so we missed all of it, which is not great. I can try to chip away at a Pokemon. He's not he's hasn't got I think has he already used Vicaball this turn? I actually don't know. I could steam up. 50 damage, I can do 50, 60, 90. If I had a second steam up, I'd get a knockout as well. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Some flying flip. Damage the board. Oh, I forgot I'm weak. That's awkward. That's super awkward. <laughs> That's like really, really awkward. I'm going to play down Volcanion. Entry submitted. I need a job too. <laughs> Alright, you're in. Thank you so much for the. Uh, everybody, shout out. Shout out to you, Aaron Dez. I'm going to go ahead and put two entries for you. Um, e ran two, and then we get ex Pokemon openings also subscribing as well. So you got two entries. So be around at the end of the month. Oh, we also have to play Float Stones. Um, Fighting Fury Belt. This kind of just dodges knockouts, right? Just why I'm attaching them nonstop. We need an escape rope here. That would be ideal. Oof. Unfortunately, it's not what we got. I don't want this thing to be knocked out either. So I think we're just going to have to deal. Take a hit, I guess. How much HP do I have left? I have 190 left. He can knock it out, but it's not easy. I'm just going to manually retreat, I think. Because I don't want to risk being knocked out next turn. He has to Guzma me if he wants to knock me out next turn. So I'm just going to hold for now. You're amazing, pretty much. All donations are greatly appreciated. They go towards school. They go towards a new car, which I do have to make a thing for later, because I don't have a car anymore. Ooh, that's awkward. Got the fuel blower. Send your friend request from that, and I'm curious to be. Yeah, I accept most of my friend requests, so I'll check that out afterwards. Hey, have any, fa any fun Charizard decks yet? It's so bad. Charizard's bad. <laughs> I think post-rotation Charizard could be something. Uh, also, I want to play Charizard Mill, personally. So I might build that at some point. Because <laughs> I want to play just like Houndoom with like Beware's because Beware is fun. And a couple of like a 2-1-2 two, two line of Charizard maybe. Maybe a 2-2-2 two, two, two line of Charizard. And just for its GX attack and nothing else. What happened to the car? Oh, my car broke down. It got destroyed. Alright, so we have a good chance of getting another knockout next turn. As long as if he can if he attacks me this turn, that'd be ideal. He's gonna get a knockout, right? But then we can potentially get a return knockout. And then if he doesn't put down another Bulu, actually he could knock me out with this, huh? Because it's for one, two, three, four, five, six, sixty, one, twenty. I have a hundred and thirty HP left. He would actually have to put all three energies onto a top of the if he wants to get a knockout. He's going to fully heal himself, but that doesn't matter because we still get a knockout. Of course, now we don't have a retreat option, which is going to be really annoying. But actually, uh, it's even more annoying than I thought. Acerola is so good, but it's not what I wanted right now. Nope. I need to land one of these, please. There we go. I need to take another two prizes, I guess. Hopefully get something decent off of it. I wanted to knock out this Bulu so bad. Oh, this is so awkward. He gets a knockout next turn. 
I could knock out Vicabo, but I need to take two prizes so I can get something in my hand next turn because I'm stuck. All right, let's get our knockout, I guess. I don't know why Ho-Oh doesn't have a GX attack that fully heals him. That would be ideal for Ho-Oh. All right, let's get some good stuff here. Top, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, everybody wants whatever. Like people are people are like over trading for their stuff right now. You're gonna see things for like 30 booster packs for hype for hyper rare lele secret rare ultra balls. It's a little bit insane right now. Oh, he's gonna knock me out with this. That's cute. It's pretty smart too. He's gonna end me down to two, which is fine because I need different cards, please. A lele into a Kiawe after I put down another ho can be pretty nice. Sycamore is okay, I'll take Sycamore. Electro Ball will be a knockout. I still have Guzmas and Escape Ropes and stuff I can potentially abuse. He gets one more knockout in that game, so I'm glad I have my belt on right now. <laughs> oh, there's Lele, I'm gonna lose Lele. Do I have Rescue Stretcher? I have Super Out, I haven't played it yet though. Um, Not a big fan of what's going on here. Lele gets me what, an N? N doesn't do much for me right now, I need cards. Hopefully I can get a Ho-Oh here with a Fighting Fury Belt. Ooh, Turtonator is so good, but we whiffed the Ho-Oh. Ah, it's so bad. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we can still get it. Escape Rope Ho-Oh right now. We got Ho-Oh. But we can't do the thing yet. So I don't want to put it down yet. But if he has Field Blower, he gets a knockout. Do you think he'll get Field Blower? He might get Field Blower. We do have Guzma. We can do this. I feel like it's just safe, but I'm scared. I'm still very scared. Because we can still win this game. Hey, Blizz, if you can't trade... Uh, what are you? How are you trading the trade, bro? I don't get it. If a card has a lock signal un underneath it, then that means it's untradeable. If you want to trade personally, you have to make sure they're bo you're both friends first. If you're gonna make public trades, you just go look up the trade and accept what what you can accept. Hmm. Maybe you're just not. Maybe you haven't unlocked your account fully or something like that. I'm not too sure. I have five more packs. Oh, Nevi, trade me those five packs for a Gliss Pod. Don't open them. If you already open them, they're ripped. I don't know, man. Look it up. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure I know the. Uh, I have an idea of what's going on, but like, I don't know what's good right now. All right, he's really thinking about this play. Is he gonna get field blower, or is he is he ultra balling right now? I don't understand what's happening. What do you? What happened? What happened? What happened? He's gonna play Guzma. Oh, he's gonna try to weaken me. That was a good play too. All right, so I think I have an idea of what I want to do here. He's really emptying his deck. We whiff the fire energy. If I didn't whiff the fire energy, that would have been really, really good for me. He has choice band there, which means if he finds a way to retreat here, we're kind of boned. But I'm going to try this out anyways, because I'm going to stall for a little bit. We're going to stall just for a little bit. Because I can GX if he stays active. He can't knock me out. Oh, he can knock me out from full using Nature's Judgment, which means I would need a Field Blower, which I already played. I only play one. I really like two Field Blowers in all decks nowadays for this reason. He's going to play Rescue Stretcher to get a Lele. Oh, this could be problematic. Another Guzma means he wins, and that's whatever, I guess. Yep, there it is. All right, guys. But we lose this game, but it was a good game nonetheless. Unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't get our field set up as much as I would like that game. Don't really know what I could have done differently besides like like it's it's hard to it's hard to beat a deck that can consistently set up like this. Whenever you're all when you're you're constantly in range, but that's gonna be the video, guys. I know it was two games, not as many as you would expect. Uh, let's see if like you guys can see everything. You should still be able to see everything. Uh, let me actually get rid of the chat for you guys. Let me get rid of all this stuff. But, uh, there we go, guys. I don't know. Like, you could play Salazzle. I don't like the idea of Salazzle. 
Uh, hitting for 180 with Choice Ban is too threatening for this deck to deal with. No weakness to deal with either. It all depends on like who can set up faster though, to be honest. He got a really, really good turn to Vic Volts. He was really lucky there. We couldn't do too much about it. But, uh, hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the deck in the comments down below. Drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. I don't know if I like this video. I don't know if I like this video. I don't know if I should re-record the whole video, but I need to upload for tomorrow. I mean, the first game was good. The second game was not great, but I don't know, you know, we'll accept. We'll accept. We'll, if one game is good, this, then the second game is bad, then it's not, it doesn't make a bad video. It's just not as good as I would like it to be. All right, well, thank you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Show recordings. No. I have to edit this tonight now. That's going to be such a pain to edit. Oh my god. It's going to be so painful to edit. File. Save project. Oh, oh. Two. Is it okay to show the pros and cons of the deck? Is it okay? Is it okay? Show. Oh, it is okay, is what you're trying to say. If it's locked, it can't be trade. Why is it locked? Because you got it from you got it from TCGO. You didn't get it from a code. Or you didn't get it from tournaments or whatever. Alright, so this should be okay. Dude, Guzma is a beast. Guzma is too good, bro. Yeah. It's alright, though. It's not a big deal. I do like the deck. It's just that, like... Ugh. It doesn't have the benefit that Lapras has, where you have Manaphy. It just hits for a little bit more, which is enough to get more knockouts than usual. So, I don't know. It's I'm back and forth about the deck. Let me go to trades, since people are offering me trades. Oh, I didn't really know what's happening. Got ba oh, okay. Um, I don't know, bro. Let's, let's check this out. I'm giving this and getting this. Nope. All right. So what do I want to do? What are, what challenges do I have going on so far? Oh, I'm doing a psychic. Ugh. I can get a pack out of it. Speaking of packs, do I have any locked packs I want to open real quick? Or bomb check your trades. I just did. I'll check them in a sec, I guess. Do I have any locked packs? Doesn't look like I do. Nope. Let me go check trades one more time since so Debbie wants me to check. You think three is too many ho-os in that deck? Or I mean the the deck is a ho o deck. It's not a Volcanian deck. It just has a it just has a volcano. The main attacker is the main attacker is ho. -Oh. <laughs> in fact, I think it has too many volcanians in the deck. To be honest, I don't like volcanian in that deck. They don't really do anything. In fact, I'd rather play cards that give you free retreat like Coco. So if I if I were to play this deck again. I try to play this deck. I've never really steamed up. I know steam up is good in a lot of matchups, but I haven't really abused it. And I want to abuse it. Because it hits 210. Because, like, without the ho os you don't really get that, uh... I don't know, it's hard. Like, I want to add Vol I want to add Free Retreat Mons. So you can Free Retreat Mons. Hold up, give me one second, guys. Let me take a look at this real quick. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. It's right. No, that's not it either. Where is my binder? Here's my binder. Mega Me 2 is ultra dead. My deck runs four batons with Ho. -Oh, it's so too good. Oh, that's actually not too. That's actually not a bad idea. I just don't like being knocked out, so I try my best to avoid it. That's the whole point of fighting Fury Bolt with this deck because it's such a fat deck. I do own two Secret Nest Balls. Yeah, so I could up the count of Secret Nest Balls in decks. Batons could be interesting. Batons over Ho oh. Batons over Fighting Fear, what I mean. I 
I'm just so afraid of Field Blower because it doesn't have any immediate effect, but neither does Fighting Fury Belt. Paying for 190 is also really good, but I don't want to play Kukui either. Uh, so many things. Maybe if I, maybe if I'm, if I'm going to play Volcanion, maybe I should play Patons. I think Patons is a really good idea the more I look at it. I'm going to try that out. I'm going to play Baton. I also want to play a 1 of Coco so I have a free retreat mon. I don't know what I want to take. I want to add more Nest Balls as well, because I like the Nest Balls. So you end up coming on clutch a lot of the time. Plus, there's never a time you don't want to use the Nest Balls. I really like this idea. So that card out. I want to abuse this card as well. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And then Nest Balls. I think I'm going to take out the Ace Rolls if I'm playing the Nest Balls. I just like having a 1 of Ace Roll to then I knock out. So maybe I'll keep it as a 1 of. I don't like playing 1 of cards, but... It could be a thing I do. What am I doing? Nest balls, nest balls, nest balls. Only have one secret rare, which I'm going to be giving away at some point. Super Rod's good if you're not really relying on baby bulks. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying. I got a fourth. I got a fourth one on stream the other day. Remember? I only really need three. I mean, I want. I would like to have four, but. Every time you make a deck and you try to make it better, you can't decide what. Yeah, that's the, that's the process. You gotta figure out what you want to take out. I like three Lele's because, you know, Kiawe. Three Ho's because Ho is the attacker. One Tornado for the GX. I like this. I like the Max Luxers. Do I need the Max Luxers? They're just handy to have. Do I even need them though? That's the thing. I could choose not. I could choose to not use the Max Luxers. It does ruin a lot of consistency though. Um, we have two extra cards. I like Scorched Earth, Flow Stones, 4-4-2, four, 4. Two, four. Do I just take out Ace Roll altogether? I think I just take out Ace Roll altogether. We'll try it like this at some point. I'm not going to play it today, but I just wanted to record the video with it today and I can play it later in the future. Almost football season is true. This is true. Mega Me Too is super dead. <laughs> Do I have any? I don't. I don't really care. Check trades. I'll check trades in one second. I also want to play Noivern because I want to try it out. I don't know. All right. So we're gonna be taking. If you guys have a post rotation build you want to play, be ready to accept. Be ready to accept the challenge. Uh, Eran, if you're still here. I'm giving. No, I'm getting. No, oh, thank you. What's this? Caterpies and Guzmas? Why, why? I like Caterpies, but I need those cards for trades. Sorry, man. Alright, you're in. Go ahead and challenge me. Can I send him a trade request? Do I even have him added? Yoku, what's your username? I don't even think I have you added, bro. You have to add me, of course. I ain't adding you. But, um, yeah, I don't have you added, bro. Alright, bro, let's play a game. This is post rotation, I'm assuming. Give me one second. Uh. Pfft. I want to work on a couple of things. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything, uh, you know what? We're going to try that Neubrand deck I was just talking about. Let's see, let's, see, let's see if we can set this up. I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to set this up, but we'll give it a try. I still don't know how to play Aura. Play what? Got a couple. I don't know what's happening, guys. I'm I'm very behind. Can you send me an offer for that Lycan Rock, nah, bro? Just send me a decent offer, bro. Like right now, I don't. I use. I save my GXs that I open for giveaways, and um, 
and for burning and like the new set packs or stuff I might need when I don't really need anything right now except for like stuff from burning shadows play low and nine tails post rotation oh I could have done that too opening hand is some kind of juice I guess we can take it right Bum, bum. I need some energies though not attaching an energy for the turn is kind of bad oh it's really bad <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go the end route Grab a trub. I want to put down more of these, but I definitely think I have to go the end route. We can leave Lele down there for now. We don't really need it. We do play three after all. All right, we got an attachment for the turn. This should be okay. Uh, this should be. I'm hoping this is okay. We'll see what we top deck. My deck sucks. So you should be alright, bro. His username is Yoku. I, dude, you can see my name. It's on screen. Online, what's his gamer name? What's my gamer name or whose gamer name? Yoku's gamer name? I'm assuming it's just a Yoku. Mine is Orba, maybe. But please, you don't have... Oh, I have to... Oh, I, I, need to, I need to put it for trade. My bad, my bad, Nebby. Can you put the chat up, Aura? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I, have, I actually took out everything. My bad. Forgot, guys. Thank you for reminding me, though. Oops. There we go. Everything's back. My bad. Alright, so after this, when I put go in the chat, go ahead and uh, offer to battle me. First person that battles me will get a... Well, the first person that challenges me, I'll accept. Usual rules, you know how it is. And I only accept one person a day. Oh, I don't know what's happening, but I'm scared of it. He's playing Tauros. He doesn't get a knockout because he doesn't have DCE. Add me on PC Joe or bomb A B A B. <laughs> Nico, you already had me at it, bro. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. What is that? This is the breakthrough noise bet. This is better because it has the uh, first attack is decent. And I think it has 10 more XP than the new one. Mysterious Beam, which is a good attack. He did enemy, which is unfortunate, because I had a pretty decent... Oh my god, is he playing Alima? I just got Alima to three? What is happening? What is happening? There's no way. What garbage. <laughs> Top deck. Thank you. I ain't doing this today. No siri, not today. I'm, I'm losing two Enhanced Hammers, which is too good. But, like, <laughs> nah. Nah, not today. Not today. Uh, I don't want to attack this. I want to attack this, but I can't do anything about it, I think. If I hit him for 50, he can Mad Bull me for 150. He doesn't have Choice Band, so he won't get a knockout. I guess we just have to make the play, make the play then. He's item locked now this way, at least. Yep, Distort. We'll give this a try. A day? What do you mean a day? Or oh, Iran did that to me too, really? I bet he plays four Malasadas. <laughs> Nebi or oh, Orban, oh, I won't be able to play you if you read my past four comments. I have not been reading it. Nebby says something about the stuff, about the things. Or I'm not, not but or you don't have good spot GX for trade. I told you I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put good spot GX for trade. I already said it, bro. Pay attention. God, don't get mad at me. I've actually said it already. Can you put up the chat after I accept the trade? Can you put go in the chat after I accept the trade? Oh uh, yeah, I can do that. Seventy. Let's see. I will not get a knockout here. I can turn off abilities. And then Sycamore. I think I'm gonna do that. I want a Guzma though. Should I just Guzma? Ah, I'm not. I don't want to Guzma. I'm just. I probably just won't attack. Actually, I need to set up another Noivert. Noivert. That's all I gotta do. Uh, let me get this. Turn off abilities. A Sycamore. Start setting this up as well. And I think I'm gonna put myself in range of knockout. Is that a good idea? I don't know if that's a good idea. We can play this down. 
can play this down. Everything's weird right now. I don't know how I feel about it, but we'll go ahead and do this. Grab another Noivern, my last Noivern in the deck. <clears throat> so even if he attacks me, if he GX attacks me, he'll be able to get a knockout now. The other attacks didn't do anything for me because they wouldn't have gotten a knockout. I could retreat. Because I do, do I have, I have free, oh, Noivern has free retreat? Since when does this thing have free retreat? Well, hello? I didn't know this. <laughs> I actually didn't know this thing had free retreat. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Do I play choice bands in this deck? I don't know if I do. I don't remember. Do I play choice bands or do I play experience shares? I think I might play experience shares. I don't remember though. I don't play Kikui. I know that for a fact. This is like, I didn't think this matchup would be so weird, but it kind of is. I have 70 HP, so he, he'd have to hit me with, um, is it plus 10? No, it's plus 1, he'd actually get a knockout, never mind. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? Do I just take the knockout? I think I have to take the knockout. So I can get a knockout the following turn? I don't even get a knockout the following turn. I think I have to wait. I'll just wait. Uh, that was a weird turn, I don't know how I felt about it. Orbom, he actually doesn't. It's going to get errated. What is going to get errated? What happened? Field blower. Get rid of my floatstone so he can use abilities again. I play experience here so we can constantly streamline Noivrens. Because the biggest issue with this deck without double dragon energy is that you can't streamline the Noivrens. Oh, it doesn't actually have free retreat? It's kind of broken that it has free retreat. I had no idea it had a free retreat. Why does it have free retreat? That's so busted. Decks are kind of bad without VS Seekers? No, because it's like after post rotation, it's like hard to argue, right? Because there are no VS Seekers whatsoever. So are all decks bad? <laughs> Nobody's getting in red. I think he's just messing around. It's awkward because I might have to attack with uh, with this with Sonic Volume, which I'm not a fan of. I can't believe this thing has free retreat. Hello, why does it have free retreat? Why is this card so busted? Ooh, Bridge is good, but I don't. I can't really afford to play Bridge right now. Mm, I don't know if I play Choice Band, but I don't think I can really do much about it because I'm not being able to play Bridge at this turn. If I can play Bridge, why is it that the one Tauros player that exists is in my face right now? Like, nobody plays Tauros nowadays. Alright, this is good though, because we have experience here. Yeah, I do play experience here in this deck. Alright, this is actually really good. Uh, although, we have to get a prize. We did land head, so maybe we'll get lucky and he can't attach next turn. That could be nice. Uh, we will go ahead and Sonic Volume. Oh, he's playing Garbodor as well. Probably should have noticed that. I also need to get an energy next turn as well, so, mm, awkward. Yeah, now I can play that spicy post-rotation. Oh, he plays this. <laughs> That's adorable. Potown is good, though, in uh, Garbodor, so it makes sense. This card is busted. No, it's not busted, because it's hard, it's hard to attack. And then, like, locking in this format is not a big deal anyways. Because, like, it's really easy to go around, to get around locking. We don't really need Garbodor this game, because Garbodor's free retreat doesn't mean much. If he can't attack this turn, though, that's going to be handy. Because then we, free, we freely get a knockout without the without any worries. Oh, Tauros Garb is not a good deck. Tauros Drampa is good. Tauros es or no, Garb Drampa is good. Garb Espeon is good. Tauros is just not a good Pokemon right now. Oh my god, he actually could have knocked me out, and I can GX attack and knock him out right now for a free prize. He can't attach DCs this turn. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. If I can get an energy... Ooh, he's in a big wheel. Uh, that means I have to play N. We're just fine, it's not a big deal. 
Don't lie to me. I don't think it. I personally don't think it's busted. I really don't. Let's lele. We'll keep the. We'll keep this just in case. Play N. Ooh, where's all my supporters? Where'd they all go? Oh, I have three sycamores gone already, and two. Oh my god, deck. Don't fail on me like this. Okay, we have to get two prizes though, which is why I'm gonna make this play. We got a psychic energy, which is really really good. Super rod is not great right now. And the Trubbish is good because of Garbodor. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm just going to go ahead and Boom Burst GX. <clears throat> now everything's in range of easy of being knocked out fairly easily. And yeah, remember when Taurus was supposed to be attacking every day, right? Back in the day, whenever we didn't understand. Have you played Caterpie Shaman at One Worlds? Dude, I don't know if that's true, but I would love to play that deck because Caterpie's a monster. Caterpie's the best Pokemon. Remember when Taurus was uh, never mind. EX, EX share the Noivern? Oh, you know what? That wouldn't have been a bad play either. I should have done that. You're right, you're right, you're right, right. I was too busy noticing that all I need is one more attachment. But yeah, I should probably EXP share the Noivern. Uh, I'll keep this around in case I want to play Garbodor. I powered up his Drampo, but Drampo still can't knock out things from full. What's coming out? We have Guzma. I'm gonna just let Garbodor come out. We'll go ahead and who are we gonna damage? We can actually no, we can't knock that out yet. Oh, he's gonna end me. That's unfortunate. Now I don't have Guzma. Clever girl. But we got Guzma again, so that's pretty dope. And we got Float Stones, which we can just probably use. I don't know if I want to use it, because I want to make sure I have constant, um, what's it called? Constant Lele's, but I think we'll be okay. We could knock out Lele here. He already attached the DCE, which is annoying. And we already lost all of our experience shares because of that awkward turn on Alima that he managed to pull off. How many eyes do we have down here? One, two, three, four, too many. Five, six, seven, it's okay. As long as we can attack a few more times. Oof. This is actually be really bad if I'm not careful. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to turn off. Do I turn off abilities? How many Lele's does he have left? I can just stop Lele's altogether. I don't know if this man plays more than one Lele. But I do. I don't know if I play three, though. I think I'm going to play it safe. Attach here. Yeah, attach here. If he evolves, he takes more damage, so I don't want to make him lose Poe Town. Well, Field Blower. I'm really hoping he doesn't play Delinquent. So if he does, Ripperonis. We'll get two more prizes. Is that a good play? Yeah, we'll get two more prizes. Uh, he gets a knockout no matter what, right? But Drampa gets a knockout this way, which means he would have to attack me with Garbodor. Do I want him to attack me with Garbodor or with Drampo? I think I want him to attack me with Garbodor. Is that the play I want? Yeah, I think that's the play I want. We'll go ahead and Sonic Volume. Okay. How many choice men should I have in my deck? Depends on the deck you're playing, bro. Living GX is better than I expected. It's I, I just had a really good setup, guys. <laughs> and also, we're playing against like a really unorthodox deck. It's or not unorthodox. You just led with Tauros, which, to, in retrospect, I guess is even worse for me. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it is better than I thought. This might be the next video I do. I think tomorrow I'm gonna do. Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna record Metagross, and I probably will record Noivern right after that. No, I'm, I'm very. I, I like the Experience Share build. People have been trying with Choice Band and Energy Batons. I like Experience Share the most. But what I need was my Noivern prize, and I didn't get my Noivern prize out of four prizes. So I might lose the game because I didn't get my Noivrens. But I only have three Noivrens right now. I would play four if I had a fourth one, but I don't have a fourth one. I know he put yeah, I know you play four Lele's, but like it depends on like because it's easy for like other people to get the Lele's, right? Let's see if we can get because all we need is Garbodor and a Psychic Energy, we win the game. Thing is, I don't know how many psychic energies I have left. You know the trash deck is good luck when Aura has the energies? 
<laughs> right? Is your game updated? Should I play a little Vulpix and March Out of GX deck? I don't know what a March Out of GX deck is, bro. It doesn't sound like a good deck. Because <laughs> it's too low. It's HP number is too low. For it to be, like, viable, you know what I mean? I think we might have just won the game. Because he has a Mew down there that we can adva take advantage of. Oh, I think we might have just won the game, guys. Just in case. Heads, we'll get a DCE. Sycamore here. More hammers. We already get knocked out, so it's not a big deal. I want to put psychic energies back. Do I have any psychic energies down here? No, I don't. I think I'm going to wait till something gets knocked out. I don't have a reason to play these hammers right now, but I might have to play them later. 50 damage will get a knockout here. Experience share on Lele, just in case I have to get knockouts this way at some point. Don't want to play this. Don't want to play too many cards in general. I'm just going to go ahead and item lock them. I could also Sonic Volume, get rid of his special energies, but all he needs is a psychic energy to knock me out. So we'll go ahead and item lock him. All right, Nebby, I'm gonna trade uh, Nebby. Nebby, what will you? What, can you let me know real quick, Nebby? Okay. At Nebby. What would you tr have traded me for? Golisopod GX. I wanna show Ioku how to trade. Okay, so how do we go from here? Okay. He said five packs, okay. Okay, sounds solid. He's an Acerola, which is a smart play. So that means this comes out and you can attach the psychic energy and knock me out. But that should be game, because he doesn't stop me from knocking him out with this. You can't even send him a request? Does, I don't, does he have any packs that are... Uh, Ioku, have you ever opened up anything in your account with codes? Like anything at all in your accounts with codes? Um, psychic onto this. Dark onto this. He might just not have anything, you know what I mean? GG, man. You gotta make sure you have cards, like, let me show you. Edit, let me show you. You have to make sure you have cards that are not locked. Do I have an example? Let's see, that these are, I have all these, I have all six of those IRL, but see how I have this one? One of my, one of my six Trubbishes are locked, which means I can only trade five Trubbishes, but I have to keep the other one. If you have any cards in your collection that are locked, you can't trade them. Let me see if I have anything that's locked. So you have to make sure they don't have that lock signal next to them. Like, that's all, that's all I can really tell you. If they have that lock signal next to them, they can't be traded. So, let me go to, let me go trade with um, my buddy Nebby. Nebby, what's your username again? So if I go to create trade, private trade. Nebby, what's your username? I forgot. Cobalt, that's right, it was Cobalt. So, so usually guys, I would get, I would trade, I would make this trade with uh, something that is worth way more. But, we oh, this trade is worth way more than this, but I'm gonna make this trade anyways because Nebby's donated to me multiple times and, you know, he's been a moderator and everything like that for a long time. I also forgot to make Noiv, oh, I keep forgetting to make Lispot a trade thing. So then I would just do this, right? And then I would put in one and then I click done. And this, I don't, I didn't put this spot up for trade. Also, you have to put your Pokemon up for trade first, which I don't think you've done yet. 
Let me show you. Collection. I'll show you how to put something up for trade. Because you probably have nothing up for trade right now. Go there. All right, see this? A Pokemon's up for trade if this is highlighted. So I clicked it, it's highlighted, and now this Pokemon's up for trade. So now I have to go back to trades. <clears throat> Public, or create trade. Private. Cobalt. Uh, accept, I don't know why I can't double click it, but that's fine. Uh, what I want, I want five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And I want to give him my Galissapod, which is right here. Uh, boom, there we go. Only one, he's giving me five, and I'm giving him one Galissapod, done. There we go, that's how a trade works. And then no accept it or whatever. I don't think, I don't think it's that important right now. What is this? Oh, cool, the alternate art. Do I want that? I don't have too many extra Guzmas though. No, I'm sure I'll get them with time. Sure, I'll take it. That's really cool, actually. Oh, you need to uncheck for the trade option if you want to show all your cards. That's only me. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Hold up, really? I didn't know that was a thing. Timestamp how to trade. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Somebody later timestamp that for me. By the way, guys, we have 40 people watching and 33 likes. For the first time in a long time, our like goal has never matched our view goal. So go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already. It's always really appreciated. Um, let me see. Let me go ahead and just accept another game for now. But real quick, deck manager. Let me check this out. So get ready to battle me, guys. Give me one second. Nine tails. I want to see nine tails since everybody keeps telling me to play nine tails. I'm probably not going to play it yet, but I want to look at it real quick. Just look at my build. Just the build I play IRL. They play this and escape rope. Two field blows. I don't do I have I don't have oh I do have escape rope. And I have rescue stretcher. Okay, I think this is the build I play. I think it's the build I play, I'm not too sure. Amanda, what's up, bro? What's up? I mean Chica. I don't know. I don't know what's what the appropriate thing to say there. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Always with the people, man. Always with the people. We'll try it out. I haven't played this deck in a long time. I'm still trying to test it. Oh, nice. We got a dislike. That's how it is, right? Go ahead and drop a like, guys. Thank you for getting... Oh, man. You guys dropped five likes. For all the... shout out to you guys. And shout out to the disliker, too. Always helps the like go rise a little bit because people, people like to support. My challenge is not accepted at this time. Yeah, because you whipped the knockout. All right, I'll be AFK. All right, here it looks. If you went up against Try to Keep Break, yeah, it's pretty nasty when they get the setup. It's just hard to get the setup. It's just Heliolux got the first, got the first one, guys. Who is your favorite NPC in the Pokemon games? A non-playable character? Uh, it's Cynthia, because Cynthia's my bae. Okay, turn one hand is okay. It's not the greatest, but we can make do. We're going first as well, which is handy. We don't get the beacon though, which is not great. Hopefully we can top deck something useful. Or useless, maybe. Oh my god, you can't do this to me, game. It's too good. <laughs> it's too good, I have to pass. I couldn't, I couldn't attach for the turn, which sucks, but whatever. Hey, it's my baby girl. Ooh, he even, he even played uh, Brooklyn Hill for me. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Ooh, you brought, you brought Vol Volcanian to Ninetales. I hope there's a Ho in there, because Ho is actually a monster in the matchup. If I don't, if I whiff, if I whiff uh, the, if I whiff the Choice Band, I don't knock out Ho. And if you play Belt, I don't knock out Ho at all. Unless I get my Choice Band and Fighting Fury Belt, and uh, um, Field Blower, I mean. What's up, Robert? Thank you for joining the Orange. Everybody give him a welcome. Hey, but do donors still get special priority for battle? Uh, people that donate today, it's it's the, it's the day of donation, not like every single time. You know what I mean? He's the rival. I see you, big dog.
Well, the reason why I didn't mallow yet was because I was going to mallow with Octillery. And I wanted to see what I was going to top deck because that could change a lot of plays, right? I could have mallowed though, you're, you're right. But then he would end me. And that's nothing. The other I forgot about the reason. The main reason why I didn't mallow was because I didn't want him to end me. And he would have probably end me if he, if he saw that I played mallow that turn. And I have a really good hand to play mallow this turn. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. What do I want to do? We'll Brooklyn first. Kiret, the most insane name I've ever seen, join the Aura Army. Thank you. <laughs> we'll do that. Um, do I just drop these two? I think I do, which is not something I want to do, but whatever. We'll get another Nine Tails down. Ooh, should we play this? I mean, we don't really need it right now. We want a little bit more offensive pressure right now. This way we'll get five new cards as well. All right, Mallow. Let's get the dudes. We'll get this. And what else do I want? I don't know what else I want. We can get this for now. Would we get a knockout? 80, yeah, we get a knockout this way. So we'll just get this. We got Octillery for five. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awkward. Um, and we will Ice Blade this. Nico, 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 don't three dogs. Is this kind of cutting the line? It does kind of cut the line, Nico. All right. You can take the next battle, bro. <clears throat> Thank you again for donating $3. You is always greatly appreciated, man. Super duper greatly appreciated. Let me go ahead and put you at 30 points for this uh, giveaway. And uh, you can get the next battle, bro. Oh, did I not get a knockout? Oh, that's right. This is this is not an EX or GX. I don't know what I was thinking. It's your boy. I want to make a dark eye GX, dark eye EX, but it's too expensive. He's an enemy, which is great because I don't want to have three water energies in my hand. Will you trade Guzman to me, please? You just have to have a good. You have to have a good bro trade. That's all you gotta do. Hand is weird. It's not bad though. I'm gonna go straight offensive. I don't need the other nine tails right now. Do I want to play Lele? <laughs> Two one. Can I go before Nico? You can't, Mr. Friday, but you can play after Nico for sure. Thank you, Mr. Friday. Thank you so much. Let me go ahead and add two more, two more entries. I'm gonna put two point oh one, but it's not gonna affect. <laughs> it's not gonna affect anything. We'll vote four point oh one for you. But thank you so much for donating, bro. It's always greatly appreciated. You guys are truly the best. Oh, you knocked me out. How do you do that? It doesn't matter. Um. You playing post rotation? Oh, okay. Yeah, I am. But as yes, you're talking, I was gonna spot GX and Zorak deck. I kind of wanna. I'm gonna try the spot GX Zorak at some point. I like it. I just haven't done too much with it. I don't know what I wanna do here. I do wanna get down another Nine Tails now, though. We need some Aqua Patches. We need stuff like that. Field Blower is decent. Let me go ahead and get down another Vulpix. Field blowing away stuff is not great right now though. Do we have another nine tails? We do. We also get Lele, which might be better. Actually, to be fair, we have two Ultra Balls. I think we'll be okay. Hey Orbom, how do you do you have unlocked deciduous? I might. I can double check in a second. Oh, those balls are still worth a lot on PCGO, so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with that. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Nico Nico 202, I think not. <laughs> you guys are wild and I appreciate all of you though. I really, really do. Um, okay, so I don't want to play I don't want to play escape rope. I'll play the yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this. Um, we'll get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this now. Although we don't have a bunch of them down already. If you just on my trade, I don't have any good cards, but I need them for my very first deck, and I'm not lying. I mean that's fine. I mean you can the thing is though, I I can't just give people that come to the stream stuff because they want it. That's not how life works. Do 
this. Drop those two. Uh, I could get Lele, but I think I want to get another Remoraid down. Just so I can, you know, streamline these nine tails a little bit better. Let me go ahead and add this uh, Nico Nico's two dollars. So now he's at two, two, thirty-two dot two. I don't know how you guys are getting all this money. I, I it cannot be me, man. I am broke. <laughs> I remember when I wasn't broke. This is the kind of stuff I do all the time. <sighs> we can Aqua Patch one. I think I want to get my knockout. I can hit this for a hundred, but there's not really a point. Let's just get my knockout here. Oh, you know what? I should have knocked out this. What was I doing? I meant to click that. Why did I do uh, that? Whatever. It's fine. Well, just what you should do is just go play some like theme deck tournaments and stuff like that. And get packs so that you can trade for you can trade packs for stuff. That's the best way to go. What's the name of the song? Courtesy Call Nightcore. I'm not sure if it's on YouTube right now. When I checked, the video was taken down. But uh, it's the it's the night it's the night core version of courtesy call. It's my intro on my YouTube video, my YouTube channel. I mean, I don't have any extra March shadows, unfortunately. He's gonna use my me. She's in a big deal. Depending, oh, he's gonna. That's weird. Uh, I'll take it though. It's not a big deal. Is he gonna knock me out? He needs two steam ups to get a potential knockout here, which is not hard to do. Actually, he needs three, doesn't he? 36 and 90. Yeah, he needs three. So I'm like, it's alright. LFC is good with Jolteon and Glaceon. Yeah, but Jolteon and Glaceon is just not good in general. Because then you have to rely on, like, your opponent not playing Lele. <laughs> like, it's good against basic decks, and that's it. <laughs> Evolution decks are so hard to work around because your opponent has Lele they can just attach to and attack with. Yeah, I think Jolteon Glaceon is a bad deck, and it's going to be a bad deck as long as Lele exists. He got all three steam ups off, so he gets another Rock Ice. We might have just lost this game, guys, which is fine. It's not a big deal. He hasn't set up anything in a while, so maybe if we can prevent him continuously setting up, we should be okay. I need double Aqua Patch. I don't know how I'm going to pull it off, though. You level up in TCGO, you just complete the challenges. That's all you gotta do. Oh, he looks like he's stuck. This is gonna be awkward though, we might have just lost. I don't I don't know if we can come back from this. We'll find out. I mean, our hand's not terrible. Ultra Ball top, they're gonna be amazing. Ah, damn. Alright, well. This is actually really, really bad. Because now I have to. Oh, I have to do. Oh, I don't wanna play N. Actually, N is not a bad play, to be fair. I don't wanna attach for the turn though. Oh, I have to, I have to get two aqua patches, and there's only two left in the deck, so I'm not too sure what's gonna happen here. We'll play N, bring him down to two cards. It's so awkward. It's so awkward. I don't know what to do, guys. I can evolve, I guess, to prevent myself from being knocked out. Play an Octillery here. Mm, it's just so awkward. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I want to preserve that. If I put down Lily, he gets an easy game. I just have to pass. How can Lele hurt Marshadow exactly? Because if you're if you're attacked, say say that you use Marshadow's attack to copy Glaceon's attack, and then prevent yourself from being damaged by let's say a, Gar a Gardevoir, right? Well, the, all they have to do is make Lele active, attach energies to Gardevoir, attack the and attack the three energy uh, uh, three energy attached Marshadow uh, with however many energies they have, and they put damage on you. And then because you're doing such little damage, because you're probably attacking with either um, with either 
Jolteon, Glaceon, or or um, maybe Drampa. You have to be attracting with Drampa, and then you're not blocking anything next turn. Because that's the only way you'll potentially get a knockout. That's if you have a choice band. That's what I mean. Like you can block you can only block one either a basic or an evolution at a time. You can't block both. That's fine. That is super fine with me. So we have this. Hopefully. Actually, I can get Mallow, but if I get Mallow, I don't know. I, I mean, I can potentially win here. Let's get Mallow. We just have to hope he can't, like, explode off energies right now. But Mallow gets us Aqua Patch. And DCE. So that we can get some streamline attacking. But we have a lot of crap prized, <laughs> which is unfortunate. But we have double Octillery here. Bissell hand because we can still play we can still play this. Aqua patch first. Onto this. Alright, we just have to take six prizes. Not too hard. Um Oh wait a minute. I already played Mallow, so I can't Guzma. I don't know why I didn't think about that. There's no way. This could be really bad for me. I might have just lost. I think I'm gonna leave this active. Maybe we'll I don't know. I'm really tired. Apparently, I'm not keeping track of anything right now. All right, we'll see what he top deck. What he top decks. Housewife Vu. I'm getting way too tired, man. So you copy Jolteon's deck and have nothing on your bench. Yeah, but if they're playing Gardevoir, then Gardevoir knocks you out. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? If you copy Jolteon's attack, because it depends on the matchup, right? If you're playing against Volcanion, if you're playing against Darkrai, you have a good matchup because you just copy Jolteon's attack the whole time. But if you're playing against... Gardevoir, Galissapod, Nine Tails. <laughs> you lose that matchup. You, if you play against any evolution deck that also plays Lele, you lose that matchup. Because literally, Lele just attacks. That's all there is to it. And all three of those decks I just named are examples of decks that play DCE. So it's easy for them to attack in one turn as well. And then you have to switch up your attacks. And then if, if you don't, you if, if you switch up your attacks, they retreat into the other Pokemon that's evolved and knock you out there. Like, it's it's a mess. It's hard, it's hard to it's hard to make that deck work because evolution decks are so prevalent now and Lele is the best card in the game, of course. It's fine though. As long as we have Guzmas, that's not gonna be a big deal. How do you pronounce Alamomola? Like that? Uh, that's an awkward. That's awkward because we could still lose this way because there's no more Hexamaniac in the format. That's bad. I have to knock this out. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. This is really bad for me. <laughs> oh, no. We might have just lost. I'm telling you, man. Like, basics are still good. People thinking that basics aren't good are wrong. Hmm. I don't want to Guzma. Because I have to end this turn as well. To prevent, uh, potentially have a chance. What can I do here? Just want to see what's in the deck. Okay. Let me do this. No. Let me do this. No. I need a. I need a. I need a decent prize here. So this is gonna be a really awkward game. But I have to do this. I don't have a choice. I need to knock out this thing too because it's too much of a threat right now. All right. I'll take it. He has no more Volcanians he can get. Blizzard Edge. Because if, if he doesn't get a knockout, then I'm okay. I need to get a DC off the of prizes, though. We have, I think, two prizes. So I think that's how it is. No, we got choice, man. How many prizes? How many do we have prizes? Uh, there is... <clears throat> oh, no, we have them all in the deck. I just got rid of a bunch early game, I guess. It's okay though, we should still have it, as long as everything goes well. Oh yeah, Marchetto, Marchetto is really good in expanding because you have a lot more options. Allo La Mola, it's Allo Momola. It's Allo Mo Mola, it's very clearly Allo Mo Mola. So I'm improved Evolution is a good set. You're right, you're right, Evolution is such a good set. What's good man, I request to follow you on Instagram. Alright, I'll, I'll accept it later, I don't usually check Instagram. Um, so that's my bad. 
In both drills, young glacial is impossible, but it's not perfect. Lele won't be able to one shot you though if, if you're a belt. That's fine. That's fine. But you'll never be able to you'll never be able to lock, and you'll never be able to oko it back if you're belt because you don't work because you're not holding choice ban. Unless you play Kikui, which is not good because Kikui is hard to make work in a for in a format without Lele. I'm just saying like the deck is fine. It's gimmicky, but it's not as great as people keep saying it is because it's not it's not consistent enough with the with our current format. He has a belt, which doesn't actually stop him from being knocked out. He can hit me for 130. I guess I could Guzma and uh, put the damage back on him, but that's not something I want to do, per se. Ah, oh, but uh, he can attack twice now, which is terrifying. I have the Guzma, which sucks. I could potentially do that later. How am I going to approach this? I think I missed up there. I'm going to have to... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. I think. Oh, it's such an awkward game. Okay, hold on. Here's what I'm going to do. Gonna ice path. Actually, no. Yes, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh man, it's so weird. I do 100 damage, right? So it should still be a knockout, right? Because he has 220. Yeah, okay. We'll ice pass first. That's what we'll do first. We'll give him the damage. And hopefully, he doesn't top deck. How's this gameplay alone muck? If you have it, I don't have any alone mucks. Not right now. But once again, I'll get all my codes hopefully by the end of the next week. And then I'll be able to play a lot more different decks in the in the um in the format. So you're eating hot bread? <laughs> Poor Joseph, I feel bad. Alright, so he has to retreat, right? And if he retreats, uh first of all. No. Oh, if, if I retreat, I can Guzma knock it out. Or I could... Yeah, I, I think I know what I'm going to do. I just have to make sure it all works for me. How many cards do we have left in the deck? We have 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 17 cards left in the deck. With two, with two of these around. What do you think about the new Lycanroc form? I, I like it. I think it's I think it's an awesome form. I like how it's more wolfy, designed-wise. Like, it looks it looks more aggressive than the other two. I like it's orange. I like the orange. I like the color orange on a lot of things. It's not one of my favorite colors by any means. I actually really don't like the color in general, but I like it on stuff, like design-wise. I like it on there. I like how it's a fusion of the two. I don't know. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I don't hate it by any means. Yeah, he's gonna mainly, he's gonna retreat. He's gonna go into this, which is interesting. Which just means I should still GX. He's in a power heater. That's awkward because it does put me in range of things, but I have it now. I now that kind of changes the plays I want to make. He's gonna put it one on here, maybe. No, he's gonna put them on there. All right, this is good for me. This is very good for me. Because now I want to do. Ooh, I want to put stuff down so it's not in my way anymore. Let me go ahead and Guzma this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just field blow right now. Do that. Artillery for two. I need some aqua patches and stuff. All right. Blizzard Edge. Get two more prizes. I'm hoping he damages me. That'd be ideal. There you go. Oh, so they were, okay, there was a couple prizes. Okay, that was just me going insane. Alright, we're okay. I'm okay being insane. I play Lycanroc. I'm a huge fan of Lycanroc decks. I just haven't tried a post-rotation version. I do want to try it at some point, but I'm not even sure if it's good post-rotation. It was really good without post-rotation. In this situation, I wouldn't blow away the stadium.
Hmm. Do we win? No, not yet. Oh, it depends. Do we have another Guzman in the deck? We should. Which means we should win, right? Dope. Three Guzmans for the win. Blizzard Edge. <laughs> there we go. That's game. So we managed to bring that back. We just played that one really smart, but we got it back. All right, cool. So Nine Tails. That's my post rotation Nine Tails deck. This is what I have right now. I'm still working on it, but this is what I like right now. For those of you that are interested in seeing what it is, here we go. Is game though you can ice blade the bench. Nothing would have been knocked out because uh, the the thing was only 140 and I can't hit the bench for weakness, which means I would have to hit. Wait a minute, if I hit it for 50, that's not 190. Never mind. Math is bad in my head. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right, Richard. My bad. I, math was wrong in my head for some reason. I thought I was only gonna put him at 170. That's just math. Math B. I'm just bad at Pokemon. You know how it is. <laughs> Alright, so up next I'm battling Nico. So um, if you want to challenge me, go ahead. Let me go ahead and accept some actually don't challenge me yet. Let me let me accept some requests. There we go. Let me go to trades real quick. Can you play Quad Ho? I was trying it earlier. I like it, but like we're I'm still working on it right now. Three reverse hollow choice bands. I don't need these cards. Please play Gardevoir DX. We've been playing it a lot in the past couple of days. What's the best way to get coins? Just grind the ladder. Finish the challenges. Stuff like that. So how late are we streaming? Oh man, it's already 12.30. But I want to get these games with Nico and Mr. Friday because they donated, so. At... Nico Challenge Please It's good to know that I can Yeah, Volcano can win any matchup, dude Volcano is really strong Even auto losses you can win as long as you can streamline Let's play I actually kind of want to work On this deck So I want to work on Galissapod So we're going to play Galissapod real quick Where is it? There it is. No, it's Guardi. We'll play Guardi later. I'm still not, I'm still like, I, I don't know how I want to play Glisspot right now. Or is not an honest streamer. He claims it to be 12.30 a.m. when in fact only 12.20. Actually, my computer says 12.17. So we're going to talk about lying. I actually have to go, but someone can take my spot. I donate because I love the stream so much. Thank you, Mr. Friday. I appreciate it, man. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. He just said something later. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> you, you can knock out Guardies easily with Volcanion. It's true, but Guardies can knock you out as well. But Volcanion has a lot less setup time, and Kayawe and uh, Turtonator are really, really good. So like, uh, it's uh, Volcanion's very strong. He played it because he knows it's my least favorite deck. What is this? Are we playing against Mega Aerodactyl? Because that's kind of insane. I'm not even gonna lie. Play belts for Guardi, exactly. Ooh, this hand is bad. <laughs> this hand is bad. We need a top deck now. We'll pass for now, though. Meta FX. Mega Aerodactyl, that's a weird deck. Dude, It's. Uh, if it, oh, I hope it's good, because Mega Aerodactyl is a cool Pokemon. What's he doing? Sudo Wadoo. Rock Smash. <laughs> the, this card itself is bad. Dude, where's my field blower at? Punish these plays, bro. Punish these plays. Dude, we're actually playing Nico Nico's. This is Nico Nico, dude. This is wild. I'm excited. What's he doing? Is he grabbing Lele? Do you play N, bro? Just do it. Do 
Do we have our weakness? I don't know. Is it electric? It's weak to electric. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or I have your luck online too. Yeah. Online just, they like to punish us good players. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, if I can top deck a, uh, a golly right now, that'd be pretty dope. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime! Why is he playing that? I guess maybe this thing has like an earthquake attack or something. Never seen that before. Then again, I've never fossil decks in action either. This is not a fossil deck though, it's just an EX deck. Weird. It is odd, it is strange. Guys, guys, I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to knock on wood real quick, but like, oh my god. Um, but we actually haven't disconnected from the stream once so far. Uh, do I want to like bring out a Pokemon that could be stuck potentially? Sure. Let's bring you out, buddy. And we'll go in a retreat and uh, do the do from there. Just just kind of stall for a little bit. Yeah, Aerodactyl's a cool Pokemon. Hopefully he doesn't have any Floatstones or access or anything useful or whatever. Mr. Mime is, I know what Mr. Mime is played for. <laughs> I, I play Pokemon, funny enough. Kakashi Senpai. Kakashi Senpai! Um... It's just weird. I don't. I just, that's why I meant like he probably has like some sort of earthquake attack, which is like means Aerodactyl probably has some sort of earthquake attack, which means eh, sadness that he has attacks that potentially damage his bench. Don't knock me out. Oh, he's got too strong energies. Never mind. Well, it looks like I lose because I am whiffing. Oh no, never mind. Chances of chances have been gained. Rescue stretcher. Get another one of these fancy schmancy wind pods back. And artillery, help, help me out here, big dog. Very nice. We can't attack, <laughs> but we can at the very least stall for a little bit because apparently that's all we're good for right now. The rock drill drives. That was his. Okay, cool. Arrow is second best fossil Pokemon, dude. I like. What's my favorite fossil Pokemon? I mean, Kabutops and Aerodactyl are dope. Almost start. I mean, I like all the three starter ones. I don't remember any of the other ones. <laughs> Rip me. All right, you're gonna get Mega Aerodactyl here. He's gonna start doing the big damage. 40 extra damage with no choice band, so it's just straight up 40 extra damage. I don't know if it would knock me out, but I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, Rock Drill Dive does 110, but what else does it do? Does it do 10, 10 damage to everything on the field? Oh, Vulcus. Oh, Volk is strong, bro. Ho is just good. Ho is just good. Oh, like he's a good one-up in Volcanion. Damage each bench Pokemon. Oh, so it does 10 damage to everything. Okay. This man's not even giving me a chance to prosper, bro. Look at me with all the all my all my cards in my hand that I can't play. Oh well, there goes Flowstone. That's awkward too. Nice 150 damage, All right? Top deck. Ultra Ball. I mean, I'll take it. Can I land one of these? Nope. Because I don't want to use what's it called for the turn. At least not yet. Play this down. Could evolve this. We're not going to be able to hit for too much damage. Uh, do I want to Ultra Ball now? Not yet. Because I, I might not want to lose these Ace Rolls because they're so important. There's our Grass Energy. We can at least hit for like a little bit of damage this turn, right? You know what? I think I have to Lele for N, because this is, this is getting absurd. I think I have to make the sacrifice. I need I need actual cards, please. Yes. Fomantis doesn't... I mean, Fomantis is decent because I need one of just to knock out Lele's with Choice Band. But other than that, like, I don't really need too much. But then again, this also has 170 HP, so we'll see. I would, need, I would like to have at least one down. All right, hand is okay for now. Screw this choice band over here. We know we can. He can keep the rescue stretcher. I already played Octillery for the turn. I just gotta be careful. Well, first impression. That's only gonna do a little bit, but whatever. Damage is damage. Damage on the bench. All right, what are we gonna do here? All right, we got this down. Uh, 
Mm, this is awkward because I want to get another Galissapod down. Maybe I'll get Ultra Ball here. I don't know. We'll see. Dang it. Stop doing this game. <sighs> Whatever. Guess we have to keep stalling for a bit. Can't control it, unfortunately. You down. You down. You down. I just need to get a second Galissapod so I can start streamlining. I'm gonna try art except for when I build decks for Aura. That's that's how it should be. I'm a fan of this. He plays Marsh Shadow. I don't know why he plays Marsh Shadow. He has shown me no reason as to why he plays Marsh Shadow. Although Beatdown is our what was it? Peerless hundred blows is a decent attack. I don't see why he's playing up Marsh Shadow right now. He's gonna Guzma me, which means he's gonna knock out Lele, which is fine because Oh, he's gonna knock out Artillery. That's fine. That's not a big deal actually. It's only one prize, and then we are we gonna get a knockout? We has how much HP left? Okay, can I please click the Pokemon? There we go, 60. He's 150 HP left. Um, should I rely on getting a choice band? I know I play four choice bands. I guess we'll find out, huh? I mean, I have no reason to not attach my DC. Nice. Oh no, I don't think this counts for the turn, if I remember correctly. Then I don't want to attach the DC. I just remember that they made this. Apparently, it doesn't account for account for the turn like I thought it did. We don't have choice band either, so I'm actually gonna just sycamore here. Close, but not quite. Floats. Do we know we have float zones. So we can actually attack with this one for big damage, and with this we hit 140, so we'll be 10 short, which is not great. I want another thing down. Another rem raid down. Let's be safe. So I'm gonna get down another rem raid. Because we're not gonna get a knockout anyways. I could have used a GX attack, but I don't feel like using it quite yet. I'm gonna retreat. First impression. Yeah, we got choice, man. We got a knockout there. And I know there's four in the deck. I think we've only lost one. Yeah, we only lost one so far, so. Whatever. It's fine. <clears throat> He has to like Olympia or something if he doesn't want to get knocked out though. Or like land a scoop up. I don't know what he wants to do. Yeah, I, I know I could have GX, but I didn't want the GX yet. I can save the GX for later whenever I need to get a precise knockout. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't want to use a GX attack yet. There's like two knockouts I can potentially get with a GX. He's gonna end me. I wonder if he's screen peeking. No, he's not screen peeking, never mind. No, he can't play the end that turn anyway, so I guess it's fine. All right, so the question is, do I want to attach and retreat, or do I want to attach, or do I want to rely on getting a float stone? So I want to get super scoop up. One thing I want to attach and retreat if I don't get super scoop up. Uh, we'll stick more here. There's our scoop up. There's our artillery. We got two scoop ups too, which is really nice. All right, let's see if we can land the scoop up here. Actually, we don't really need to, but it'd be nice if we did. Come on, there's two of them. Thank you. We don't want to get knocked out. Play this here. Play you. Already touched for the turn. Play you. He can probably feel blower, but I actually don't mind right now. First impression, get our knockout. All right. So hopefully we should be able to streamline now. We get another Lorantis, that'd be ideal. We have a non GX attacker as well. I'm thinking about taking out this close spot, but I, I like having a non GX attacker because of safeguard. Safeguard's too threatening. He was Nebby. Got a secret hyper. He got a secret rare hyper Lycanroc GX. That's pretty dope. He's gonna end me down to four, but now we have Octillery, so we should be okay now. Let's see if he gets another Mega down. Yeah. There it is. Can he damage me? Is it fighting DC? Is that how it is? Does he have the fighting energy? I guess he doesn't have it. All right, 
So we don't get a knockout right away. Uh, he still has Soda Widow. I whiffed Grass Energy. What can I do here? I want to go. I want to. Uh, I want to Guzma this Lele and get a knockout. If I can get the right cards, of course. Let's end for four. Maybe we can get a Guzma and a Grass Energy. We have Choice Man. We have this. So now we hit 170. No Goose, unfortunately. We can do our damage though. How many grass energies have we lost? Two, four, five, six. I have no idea how many grass energies I play, guys. So maybe this is a bad play, and I don't, and I shouldn't do it. But I think as long as we play our Acerolas, I think we'll be okay. Oh look at you, so late. Let's retreat, and we'll hit this man with for 170 damage, which means we can knock it out next turn with a regular attack. Reload EX got reprinted with Azrael and Super Ops, it would have been the greatest troll deck ever. I would have been mad. Actually, it's not that bad anymore. Hitting 250 is is possible with a lot more decks. Gardevoir and Grass decks in general. Hmm. You think Super Zubov is good in Volcanion EX? Nah, I don't know actually. Maybe. It's cool to put those energies back in your hands because that gives you steam up options, but I'm not too sure if it's great. You know what I mean? What should we do? Because that's in the range of being knocked out. I don't have Floatstone, so I can't knock it out with this. Um, although I do hit 140, it's not enough. Actually, you know what I can do? Let's get a prize here. So now we hit for 170, like I said earlier. We'll get this prize here. I'm actually going to attach a DCE as well. Oh, whoops. Almost misclicked. Nope, come on. There we go. <laughs> the, the, the terrors of uh, using a mouse pad as opposed to a mouse. It's hard to recharge though, to be honest, I, I do, I say I do want Volcania best consistently hit numbers. To be honest, I say do what Volcania does, best consistently hit numbers, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Volcania is really good. Just do what do what it does and you'll win the game. Do you think, what is this deck? This is Glisspod. It's what I play for Glisspod. Some people play Zoark. I personally don't like Zoark. I guess Zoark would have been good in this matchup, but I if I play Zoark, I'm not playing this. I'm not playing this. I'm not getting consistent knockouts. But with this, with this Lurantis, I'm getting consistent knockouts. So that's what I mean. Because Zorak is like, you want to play them on your bench. You want to have more float stones. I don't want to have more float stones. That should be game, though. We just GX re, re, GX re game the Lele. Yep. I don't know why he forfeited, though. I guess he's, I don't know. Anyways, sorry Nico Nico, but Mr. Friday is gone, which means right now, I think we might end the stream here soon. I don't know why I keep doing this. I need Burning Shadow stuff if you want to make a trade with me. What is this, really? <laughs> really now? People are insane lately, bro. Anyways, let's see what I can do as far as uh, pack opening. I think we might just open up one or two Burning Shadows packs. We'll make them locked. That way, whatever I get will, will make everybody upset. If I get anything good, it'll upset me because I can't give it away. Uh, shop will open up three packs. So two locked, one not locked. Um, boom. Redeem. Confirm. Collection. I totally don't have a problem, guys, by the way. Definitely don't want to open up packs every stream. But my own end ruined me. I'm sorry, Nico. I know what it is, I trust me, I know what it's like to break. <laughs> Most of us do. I didn't concede, but my end ruined me. I, I won that game anyways. I don't know why it conceded. Because I had, I had Guzma in my hand. Boom. 
Persian. Exactly what I want to see from a locked pack. All right. Pull a rock lock. I just want regular art GXs in my locked packs. That's all. That's all I want. I'm cool with this. So I got it's cool. All right. One more pack. Now we want the good stuff. Now we want the secret rares so we can give them away. Give me the good. Gooda Gooda. Ah, Morphini. <laughs> Morphini to add to the collection. All right. You know what? I'm kind of feeling good right now. I think we'll get one more game with Gardevoir. I just, I'm still trying to work out on Gardevoir. I want to know if this Sylveon build is a good build for me. I want to know if the Sylveon build is a good build for me. Too many Feenies, man. Feenies love me. I was talking about how Feenies one of my favorite Pokemon in this set. Because I like Feenie. I just like Tapu Feenie. It's my favorite for Tapu. And it's out here just being like, you love me? Let me get you four regular arts and a hyper rare. <laughs> Do we keep leading with these monsters? I will take it every day of the week. Non-stop. All day, every day. All I need is an energy and more. Oh, if I can get like a Bridget off this top deck. It's over. It's actually over. Why is he playing Sophocles? Why are we playing against Weavile? That's awkward. It's not terrible for us because we bought people has to hit a lot to knock us out, but we bought Espeon could be really really bad. Top deck. Unfortunately, we did not get with the other card I wanted, uh, Bridget or Lele to get the Bridget. But maybe this end will give us a bunch of good cards. Who knows? We bought good now. It's a troll deck. It's not like anything interesting. We whiffed a lot. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh well. Lily, respect. By or it's 1.30 here. Yeah, I'm about to head out myself, but have a good night, man. I wish Top Lily would give me four regular arts on a hyper rare. I don't know, man. Maybe if we can reach 78 likes by the end of this battle, <laughs> we'll give away Top of Fini. He's an enemy, which is pretty good. Can we get a rare candy Gardevoir? Yes! I will take it. Yeah. I gotta be careful because of, you know, Weavile being a thing. Play you. Attach. Ooh, I can start getting knockouts here. Should I do that? I'm kind of afraid to attach to, to these things. Hmm, I could get a knockout. Or I could try to draw off a Ranguru. I think I'm gonna just Magical Ribbon. Cause he seems pretty stuck right now. Maybe we can take advantage. Actually, a Draw Sport would be pretty good after this. Let me get a Draw Sport as well. Sycamore. I don't really need Glade this game. So we'll just get Sycamore. Sure. Weavile is definitely fun, but it's definitely not a deck that's worth playing if you want to play competitively. He has Bridget. Lily Bay. What would you trade for Secret Rare Hyper Rare Lycanroc? It's just, just call it Hyper Rare Lycanroc. Don't call it Secret Rare Hyper Rare. It's such a mouthful. Weavile isn't. No, Weavile is interesting. It's attack to 60 damage to all Pokemon on the bench that are. All, all Pokemon on the field that are. You know, you know Helix. They're, it's really interesting. I like the card. I just don't think it's a great card. Oh, this is awkward. I don't want to Sycamore all this. But I can't play Field Ball before I head out. Uh, and drop. Oh, I want to get him off the Rotatas. Those are the threats. The Weavals aren't a bunch of a threat as the Rotatas are having tools. Alright, we're going to stick more here. Nice. No fairy energies, though. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like that. So, what do I do here then? I want fairy energies. Why can't I get fairy energies? Alright, let's do this. Magical Ribbon. Alright, so I have Ultra Ball, so that's one Gardevoir, right? So we only want one more Gardevoir, one more Rare Candy, and then I'm gonna have to hope I get energies off of this Sycamore. I'm gonna get also a Fairy Garden so I can retreat next turn. Need some Lily Full Arts? Do everybody need some Lily Full Arts? I luckily have one. <laughs> He's on Sycamore, so we get to keep our hand. But as soon as he evolves into Weavile and gets that one energy, it's going to be kind of awkward. 
More dumbbells, so these radicates are going to become problems, but not really. It's all too low HP, and Gardevoir is really high HP, and then my build... Well, then again, I already lost one Acerola. I was about to say, my build plays Acerola, but I changed that in this build, in this deck in this deck list. Alright, let's see how we can do this. Does he have an energy to attach? He already played Sycamore, so I don't know what this Wonder Tag is going to do for him. We only really need three energies at a time. Actually, technically, we only need two energies at a time to get all these knockouts on the radic on the on these uh, Weavals. But they are playing Muscle Dumbbells, which puts them at 130. So we need four energies: 36, 90, 120. One, three, and five energies between the two of them. Ugh, that's so awkward. 36, 90, 120, 150, or another field blower, which I know we have more field blowers. There's the enhanced thing. All right, so we got a decent hand, to say the least. Let's uh, do this. Ultra Ball for or Rare Candy first. I guess we'll touch Choice Fan, not like we really need it, but it's there. I don't want to play Sycamore. I, I don't want to play N, but I hate that I have to play N, I guess. We'll drop Lele. We can grab Guardi here. We'll grab one more Ralts to put down. No, we can't, never mind. We have the Sycamore now. So we'll Sycamore here. We need energies, give me these energies. Thank you. I There's still nine basic fairy energy in the deck. Why are they all stuck there? We can't get a knockout this turn. This is getting a little bit absurd. I'm not going to lie. Like, what? Why can't we get a knockout? How do we whiff when there's nine fairy energies down there? One, two, three. 30, 60, 90. That's insane. That's legitimately insane. Let me secret spring. Actually, I don't even have to, to be honest. How did that happen? I can Ultra Ball, Rescue Stretcher, draw one card. It's too late now, though, because I already Secret Springed. So Viper's ability does stack, yes. Magical Ribbon. I guess we just get energies now. Like, what? I have so many energies prized. I have four energies prized. No, I don't. One, two. There's five in the deck. That's seven. I have two energies prized. Yeah. Fuel blowers, whatever, because I actually don't... Oh, wait a minute, Fairy Garden being gone is kind of obnoxious, though. I have another one in the deck? I might have another one in the deck. He's going to end me, so maybe I can get a handful of energies. That would be ideal. Why you play Sylvia and Guardian deck? Because look at my setup. <laughs> it just literally just sits there and sets up nonstop. And we got the Fairy Garden. Oh my god, two? Count them, two energies? Wild. Secret Spring. We'll just attach them all here. Choose an energy. Okay. Why are you making me choose when there's two in my hand? I know what's in my hand. <laughs> That's so awkward. We can Secret Spring to here. We can get one more energy. That would be ideal. We need four. 36 to 91, 20. Also a field blower, apparently. Because we're not going to be able to get a knockout. Ultra Ball Sycamore. We're Ace Roller here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 36, 91, 20, 150. Still not a knockout. Well, Acerola. Put this act put this right here. Attach. We can attach for the turn. We'll just attach right here for now. And we will infinite force. Just do a little bit of damage because we're gonna get the knockout with this one. It is kind of awkward. I want my field blowers back, but there's still one more in the deck, I think. I haven't actually checked. I should probably double check. Oh, hey, Cheese Whiz. Oh, that's a new face. Enhanced Fang only does 40. Once again, Weavile is not too much of a threat right now. Guzma. Should I knock out Weavile now, though? Because Weavile's are the biggest threat, if anything. Do you have Choice Bands? This one has Choice Band, and this one does not have Choice Band. I'll knock out the one with Choice Band, because that's kind of threatening. I'm not going to lie. Let's do this. Let's instruct for one. Very nice. Attach it here. Blood Infinite Force, get a knockout. Alright, so now we just attack six times and potentially win the game, right? Can I get like a 
amazing energy off the prizes. That'd be pretty nice. Yes? No? Ooh, we can knock this out, but he's going to retreat. Which is kind of smart because he gets rid of energies on the board. He should get Karen supporter. I have Karen, but why would I need it? Robert, Tonio plays. Hello to all of you people. Roblox Glamour. Nice 140 damage. That's kind of dope, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of cool that he pulled that off. All right, finally, we can get some knockouts. I'm going to hold on to it. I am going to retreat this. I don't have another ace roll, though, so I have to be careful. I'm going to hold on to everything as well. Actually, I'm going I'm to attach one here, just in case. I'm just going to attach it. I'm not going to do anything else for the turn. Uh, infinite force should be knocker right. One, two, three, four, five. Did I mess up? It's 100. Uh, it should be a knockout. Yeah, it's 150. No, it's yeah, right. Did I mess up? No, I didn't. Okay, it is 150. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm getting way tired if I can't do simple math. Thank you, Nebby. Appreciate it. Oh, the Karen Fuller. Absolutely. You already know I'm copping that. Is this your last match for the team? Yes, it is. Which is weird, because I'm playing against like a weird deck. I don't know, if I'm still feeling energy, I might. But I was getting really sleepy. <laughs> I'm getting way sleepy. It's probably going to end. I think it doesn't really matter anymore, though, because I have, I have uh, this thing. And I have so many DCs up in the deck. Still so many fire energies as well. Two, three, four, five, six. I should have three more left. But I know two of them are prized. So I, should, I guess only one more left. Oh, there it is. Rule of Evil. Yeah, he's going to damage a bunch of his own Pokemon. Which is fine with me. Because these things are threats and I want to knock them out. Because they can actually knock out a lot of my Pokemon if I'm not careful. Um, I get a knockout, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. 36, 90, 120. He has 130 HP, so this DC will help. He doesn't play Espeon. He should play Espeon if he's going to play this deck. Secret Spring. And we'll go ahead and play our infinite force for knockout. Get the Karen supporter. Why are you saying get the Karen supporter? We're gonna see where I can Kakashi Senpai. Have a good night. Stretcher. What's he gonna get with stretcher? He's gonna get Lele. <clears throat> oh, Weavile. What am I talking about? Yeah, Weavile. He's gonna do. Oh, he'll get, he'll knock this out with Weavile, which I have to be super careful about if he has an energy in hand, which he does. All right, so he'll knock out Guardy with Weavile, which is what I mean. Like Weavile is annoying to deal with, but if I knock out Weavile, then knock out Lele, I win the game, so I'm not too worried about it. Especially since he doesn't have another Weavile down, and then what's it called is not gonna knock me out afterwards. Oh, he knocked out our Anger too. That's kind of scary. We should be okay though, right? I think we're okay. Oh, we got three prizes there. That's terrifying. We have a Lele down, right? We still have Lele in the deck. We should have one more Lele in the deck. And do we have any more ends? We don't. Never mind. Yeah, we'll just set this up. I don't want a Sycamore because it's terrifying. Let me just see what's in the deck right now. Bridget, DCE. Field Blower is in the deck as well. We'll grab this out of the deck. Just get out of the deck, I guess. Knockout. Can he get a knockout next turn? It doesn't look like he can outside of Lele. But if he knocks me out with Lele, we can potentially win the game. So we're going to Infinite Force. Because he has to attach two energies to do that. Is that energy finally? I know there's two energies prized. Come on. Don't make me the, don't make the last two energies, energies prized. There's no more in the deck. Two, five on the field, two in the discard pile. The, the last two energies are fair. The last, last two prizes are fair energies. It's kind of awkward in a deck like this. Oh yeah, this is this is not a match versus subscriber. Tell him I'll play as well. Yeah, he's gonna get one knockout here. Then we just get a knockout return. 
One, two, three, four, five. That's 150 damage. Yeah, attacking with his Weavile is really risky. I'm, I'm trying to make a deck like this, but you need Lele's, right? But then you damage your own Lele's and you lose. And it's just awkward. You subbed? Cool. Thank you, glad to be his. So I like this version, at least right there. We keep starting with like Eevees though, which is kind of like skewing my opinion of the deck. But I like this version a lot. I just like, I, I, this is what I like. I like Sylveon in the deck a lot. I didn't think I'd like, I, would, I didn't think I would, wouldn't, I didn't think I would like Sylveon, but I ended up liking Sylveon. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll compare this to a Rangaroo build. We'll probably do like one Gardevoir stream, right? And we'll, we'll be like, we'll, we will play like 10 games of each deck. Oh, that's going to take a long time. Like, we'll go back and forth and see whichever deck has the biggest win record. But I don't think I... Is, it, is there anything you guys would change in this deck? Mr. Mind to protect your lace. Oh, yeah, there's Mr. Mind as well. But he doesn't have bench space, so he's combining with Eradicate. It's, so, it's super weird. Joseph. Hey Joseph, you're not coming around on Monday, right? You said you're busy or something? Alright, let me go ahead and join Nevi's Discord and mute it before I get my Discord spammed like every other one. Alright. How do I mute the Discord? Notification, notification settings, here it is. Notifications, mute the bag. Done. Man, so far we have Pat with ten dollars of donations, Nico with thirty-two and two cents, Mister Friday with four and one cents, Ty with twenty, and Iran with two. So you guys are being dope this month. Thank you guys all so much, especially right now with all my car stuff going on. Check my DMs. Yeah, Sylvian's a great threat with his GX attack as well. In case we don't have to use his other GX attack, replace a Guardi with Malasada. You right. Was you worried about Alolan Tails? You have a Ranguru? This is true. Is that worth though? If they attach three energies and a Ranguru attaches three energies. 60, well. They do an extra 60 damage. We do get a knockout from full. I want a third guardy, guys. Don't get me wrong. This is just here as a way to deal with Darkrai and until we get a fourth guardy. Not a third guardy, by the way. Phase on nothing is for. I mean, well, like I just said, like it's gets it gets Oko's on Drampa and Darkrai. It pairs well with Octillery with Oranguru, and we just haven't had a matchup where we needed it. But in those matchups, that it's really really useful. I'm gonna use it. Surprisingly free tomorrow. Well, then let's hang out, Joseph. More, I want to play more Acerola, but every time I play more Acerola, it clunks up the deck a little bit. Ah, I really, I do really, really, really like Ace Roll in this deck so much. I feel like it's something that could be really, you could play a 3 of or even a 4 of in this deck, but it just clunks. And it's already an Evolutions deck, you see what I mean? So I had to take it out, because I originally played 3. Adelano, I'll come in clutch. You're right. <laughs> Joseph's here, so I have to add Adelano, right? Go ahead and drop a like on the stream if you guys have not already. Let me go ahead and check... Nope, we ain't checking PMs. We just don't do that anymore. We've learned the hard way. He's got three lilies from 15 packs. So the use. Pretty much, bro. Maybe had an energy recycler? Nah, I think the GX attack is perfectly fine. I was thinking about Super Rod the other day, but I was just like, nah. GX attack will take care of it. His GX attack is like, broke. It's like hella broke. Whew. Let me see. Is there anything else I want to do? How many? How much money do I have? I want to buy another pack. I don't have the... Oh. What is this? I don't even have enough money. Like, I barely have money for another pack. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'm not going to bother. You know what we'll do? We're, we're, uh, n no, not traits. Do I have any traits? Before, before I forget. No, I don't. Uh, you know Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're just going to end the stream. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz. And I will see you guys... Next time, peace.